So today we're gonna stream here a game that came out yesterday. It's a visual novel that is called Crash Auto Drive. Uh, that is developed and published by Studio Nightcap. So this is like uh, someone kills a person and you need uh, to figure it out. Who? It's not kill by killing. It's by run over with a guy. If I'm not mistaken, I need to figure it out who killed. So. Oh, what the hell? There we go. What the hell was happening over there? I couldn't click on your game, it was blinking. He, he didn't want to get me into the game. He's like, no, 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 no. Don't go for it yet. Thomas? Do I need to click? Yeah. Thomas, please! I know you are working on it again. Are you sure you want to do this? The last time you... Is this an hologram? Yeah, it looks like. Ah, the turn off. Please don't make me. Ada, turn off. Tom, you need to understand. Fine, I'll just pull your plug then. What am I going to do with you? Who the hell is that dude? Is it the guy that's going to die? Probably. So, Friday, August 27, 2027. Wow, okay. 7 and 2 a.m. Pittsburgh, PA. I don't know why it's that. Waiting for her auto car to arrive, Emily Knight speaks with her mom on the phone. Of course I'm nervous, this job interview is my ticket back into college, Emily states. Her, her mom retorts. Honestly, I wish you'll just give up on the seat and come home. I'm sure your dad can get you hired at the factory. No way, please stop suggesting it, Emily huffs. She doesn't want to work on a factory, she wants to do whatever she wants to be. The auto car arrives and the door opens automatically. Gotta go mom. Emily says goodbye and enters the car. Already inside, a passenger smiles awkwardly, then returns concentration to his laptop. Emily begins reviewing interviewing questions on her phone. Minutes go by and the autocab slows to pick up a third passenger. Professional looking but quirky. The woman sits down and gets absorbed in her tablet. Jesus, how many people are going in this cab? It's already free. Uh, our character and two more. More time passes and the car stops to fill the fourth and final seat with a confident young man wearing a backpack. He stares out the window at the unfamiliar city. So there is no, uh, no driver, it's like uh, automatic. That's why it's an auto cab. Okay. Amy looks up from her phone and around the cab. No drivers, just passengers minding their own business. It must have been so awkward making small talk with a cab drivers back in the day, she thinks. Thank goodness for auto cabs. Suddenly the car takes an expected turn down a closed road. Weird, autocars aren't supposed to do that, Emily thinks. <laughs> Suddenly the car breaks, the passengers hear tires squeal followed by a loud thud as the car hits something. Airbags deploy and everyone's view is blocked, some are knocked unconscious. When the passengers wake, they exit the car to see what happened. So probably... He didn't run over, he totally hit, the guy didn't die and someone got out of the autocab and killed the guy. Something that we need to figure it out. Stuck, they're exhausting all dialogue options with characters. Okay, Saying that uh, to click in all, all dialogues to be able to progress. Basically it's like a, a little bit of uh, Phoenix Wright where you need to you know do questions to be able to progress. Of course you don't need to pick up proofs you know, evidence to show to the to the judge, but it has a little bit of Phoenix right in it. Is, is everyone okay? A little shaken, but otherwise, yes, thank you. Man, those airbags really went overkill. They filled the entire car. Did they really need to go off for such a minor impact? We probably only hit a pothole or something. Dude, there's a dude over there. You guys can see. It's part of the autocab safety protocol. Since accidents are so rare, hairbags for everyone better safe than sorry. Probably this, they are inside the, the auto cab yet. I thought the whole point of self-driving cars is that they don't have accidents. They aren't supposed to. At least the safety is worth. We all seem fine. True, but it took uh, quite a while to get out of the car since the airbag obstructed our view. Oh no, so they are outside. How the hell they didn't saw? Look, a bicycle, a dude, hello, are you guys blind? And our way out. That does seem like a safety hazard now that you mention it. At least the airbags extracted back into the car. Huh, guys? Yeah, after we buffed our way out. 
Guys, I don't think it was a minor impact. <gasps> Holy crap, we hit someone. It doesn't look like he's breathing. Is anyone here a doctor? Nope. If I see blood, I puke straight up. Wait, aren't you Condor808, the game streamer? Don't you stab and shoot things all the time, East Killer. There you go. Yeah, but that's just in games. I mean, if I see blood in real life, I'll just call me Kyle. What about you, with the cute glass? It's Anna. I'm a doctor, but... What? Get over there, then. If you let me finish, I'm a doctor of AE Psychology. So, not really qualified for this. Ah, got it. What about you, Red? It's just an college student. Me, do I look like I'm old enough to be a doctor? No, I'm gonna say this one because it's what we know. No, no, I'm just a college student. Well, was. Please, don't call me Red. I'm Emily. Okay, sorry. Well, I guess that leaves me. I'm Carter. Unfortunately, I'm not a doctor. Nice to meet you all. Even if the circumstances are grim. Let's wait for the cops. Well, one of us should go over there and check on him. No, let's wait for the cops. Let's wait for the cops. If he's dead, we could contaminate the crime scene. Yes, we don't want to put our fingerprints into there. I agree. Also, if the police arrive and I'm next to a dead body, let's just say I don't want to risk it. I have a family to provide for. What do you mean? The cops are here to help us. Help us? Do you recall the Black Lives Matter protest seven years ago? You were probably, what, 10? 13, actually, and yes, I remember them. Change happened on police force everywhere. There were some improvements, yes, but it's still not 100% just for everyone. I'm not risking it. I'm staying over here. You know, he might still be alive. Someone should go over there. Well, what about you, Kyle? I see blood, I puke, remember? I'll stay here. The last thing I need is, is for a video of me blowing chunks to go viral. Career over. Really? You are thinking of your career at this time? Fine. Anna, do you want to join me? Me? Oh, uh, no. You go ahead. I also get squeamish. Actually, why are we even talking about this? Where's the automated emergency response that's supposed to come whenever an auto cab has an accident? They should have been here by now for sure. We need to do something. We should check on him. I totally agree. So, who's going over there? Not me. How about we all blurt out a name on the count of three? The person with the most votes has to go check out the body. Oh wow, that's all you say? Okay. Uh, person. Agreed? Sure, I don't. Okay, here we go. One, two, three! Hmm, who shall we put? Like, she, she's a doctor for the IE. We can't vote for ourselves, of course. Uh, let, let's he's gonna vomit, so probably not. Carter, eh. let's let's put her and Emily, 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 of course, of course. Oh crap, okay, I got this. All right, everybody, I got this. Of course, it will be us, of course. All right, wish me luck. If he bites me and turns me into a zombie, you guys are the first on the menu. So can you click? Okay, you can click. You can't go to the bicycle. You can go to the car and you can talk to them. We have a phone. Close phone. Okay. So what if we talk? Can we chat privately? Probably need to go to the body, right? What are you waiting for? Go check that guy out. Don't hate the player. I hate the game. Oof. Okay, let's do this one. Hi, Carter. Perhaps you should go check. Uh, okay. In the meantime, I will continue to try to get my phone to work. Nothing seems to be working. Even one, one, one won't work. In Pittsburgh. Me either. Nada. I got nothing. Weird. Don't worry. These auto cabs come equipped with an automated emergency response system. On impact, Ada should have contact 911 instantly. So someone should be here soon? Precisely. All we have to do is wait. But didn't they say that it didn't uh, work or something like that? So probably nothing comes. And how the hell do the phones aren't working? I'm sorry I voted for you, but maybe you should go check on him. Okay, so we have to go for him. Please be briefing. Please be briefing. Uh, sir, are you okay? If you can brief, can you just, I don't know, cough a little? Oh god, I'm going to have a touch of maybe dead body, aren't I? Guys, I don't think he's breathing. He 
His eyes are still open and not blinking. He's not moving at all. I'm pretty sure he's dead. Yep, touching a maybe that body is officially in my immediate future. Maybe I can find something useful without actually, you know, touching him? Gross. There's a phone, a wallet. You can click on the watch. Let's see. Cell phone broken. Hope you start your in case of emergency somewhere else, if there is anyone. Top of the line model top. This guy keeps up on the latest tech. Oh, you put, you put over there. Interesting. Hmm, pretty snazzy wallet. I get the impression this guy has big paycheck. Oh, there you go, we have a name. Thomas Sinclair. Oh my god, my old boss? <gasps> it was Emily, there you go. She wanted revenge, of course. Wait, well, since when a uh, uh, licensed car, you know, for driving or your citizen car has eyes? What the hell? I barely recognize him with the beard. But this is definitely him. He ruined my life, but I wouldn't kill him. Okay, keep it together, Emily. If they find out I hate this guy, they will probably think I did this. Let's see, what else is in here? Mostly lots of credit cards. Lots of cards. He must be swimming in debt with all these things. Can you do something? No, I don't think you can do nothing. Okay. <clears throat> I'm back. Can I take his shoes? Because I need... No? What about here? Hmm, I wonder if there is something useful info in here. <coughs> Looks like an old newspaper clipping with... Holy crap! Carter and Thomas? Ah... Together. So Carter knows him too. What is going on here? Okay, we got uh, our first clue. Victim name is Thomas Sinclair. Newspaper Carter and Thomas were partner. Local do start self-driving card company. That's a lot. Vroom by founders Thomas Sinclair and Carter Jones. Okay. Can we do this one? Keys. I bet these are his apartment keys since the number match his address. I'll hang on this just in case. Are we gonna be able to go to the to the apartment? Hmm. Yep, Mr. Thomas Sinclair. I wonder if he still abused the IE. He's at Vanguard. Maybe the guy is out for revenge? Ha! <laughs> oh, who knows? It could be, right? Probably the IE knows him and uh, killed him? Could be. Uh, I don't think there's anything else, right? No, does that look like? Okay. So probably talk to Carter? Oh, okay, they are already talking. Well, what did you find? Well, he's not alive, that's for sure. Um, you are not going to believe this, but I know this guy. No way, what? Really? Yeah, he's my old boss from when I interned at Vanguard Global Industries. His name is Thomas Sinclair. Herb Casp... Thomas? You know him, Anna? Yes, he's my co-worker. Probably everyone knows him, like he founded with him, right, the Vanguard. She was a co-worker of uh, him. She w was uh, Emily, our character was an intern, and uh, this one I don't know, Kyle. I don't know since he's a streamer how the hell he could be involved with this. We work together on the AutoCAD. I, it's my product manager. Oh my gosh, poor Thomas. Uh, what about this one? What happens? I can't an idea who this guy is. Carter? No, sorry. However, I do know of him. He's one of the people who invented the first AutoCAD prototype, then he sold out to Vanguard. That sounds a little bitter. Don't agree with selling out? If you sell out, you should take care of your entire team too. But you know, he, he knows him. I mean, I heard the, he took most of the money. Sounds like Thomas. He could be selfish at times. Dang, that's cool. Indeed. So you are sure you don't know him? I do not. Okay. Contradict. Objection! Look, I didn't want to do this in front of everyone, but I'm pretty sure you do, partner. What do you mean? I found a newspaper clipping Thomas Beck. It says you guys were chummy business partners less than five years ago. You basically co-created our rights. What? Okay, fine. We were partners. 
Um tio Thomas got greedy and sold the IP to Vanguard without consulting me. So he had like a motive to kill, right? But like after many years, doesn't make sense, right? It's not even a uh, shop around. Other companies like Titus Technologies wanted our tech as well. We created the first AutoCAD prototypes, the first version of other two. Nobody could replicate our breakthrough high tech. I got a small buyout and a annotation in the AutoCAD's wiki page. Thomas went on to rise through the hunks at Vanguard and see our AutoCAD idea come to fruition. Uh, so why is he carrying around an old clipping of the two of you? So you decide to send him a warning? I think I'm gonna say this one. So why is he carrying around an old clipping of the two of you? I have no idea. Sentimental value? It can, it can be, it can be. But maybe you sent him to him as a warning? Doesn't make sense. Why would you send out? Oh, it's a newspaper clipping. It's a warning. It's like, it doesn't make sense. Why else hide you knew him? What? That's ridiculous. I just felt like my past will make you think it was me. I will never hack your old IE to murder your former partner who screwed you over. You were on your laptop when I got in the car. How dare! Guys, guys, calm down. Let us jump to conclusions just yet. But we can't rule out anybody out yet, it seems. Okay, what the hell we got? Uh, here is nothing, okay. Uh, what we have over here? Can we talk? Of course. Okay, let's push him uh, aside. What's in your mind? Will you tell me a little bit more about yourself? Of course. I'm just an engineer on my way to an investor meeting. I'm trying to sell my new invention. That's cool. Do you see? A, do you sell a lot of your inventions? Well, no. I realize I tend to move on to the next project before I finish the current one. But this time is different. I'm seeing it through to the end. If I can get this investor money, I'll finally be able to get my company off the ground. Sounds prom promising. So what's the invention? Sorry, it's top secret. But one day I hope it will make the world a better place and everyone will know about it. I thought ideas were a dime a dozen and it's the execution of the idea that matters. True indeed, this project has both so that is why I must keep it a secret. Have any of your past investors inventions, inventions been a success? You could say that. Unfortunately, I did not reap the financial rewards my partner did. Probably is talking about uh, this guy, right? The AutoCAD. I still struggle to provide for my wife and kids as an engineering professor. If I can get just one invention funded, it will help immensely. Sounds like you are afraid of success to me. I'm sorry you are struggling. I'm gonna say this one. I'm sorry you are struggling. Thank you. I appreciate your kindness. I know it. I play it safe to be able to safely provide for my family. It is both a boon and a curse. Growing up, we did not have much, and I think I carried that mental mentality into adulthood. Anyway, enough about me. Me? I'm just a, co a college student. Well, I was. Was? I had to drop out when I lost my programming internship with Vanguard. I come from a long line of hard-working blue-collar Appalachian workers, so no trust funds for me. While other students get to party and busy working to pay for college. That is truly unfortunate. No scholarships? Oh yes, I had some, but it's not enough to cover everything. My parents are in that crappy middle area where they don't have it, they don't make enough money make enough to pay for college. But they make too much for me to get a free ride. So off to work I go. Aren't you lost the internship? Are there no other jobs? Oh yes, I'm working free right now. Waitress, pet walking and playing keyboard for some local polka band. It's just enough to cover rent and bills, but not tuition. I'm so busy working, I can't fit in class too. I'm sorry. How did you lose your internship again? So Thomas was my boss in the AI lab where Ada was created. He treated them poorly, like really poorly. It was really uncomfortable, so I spoke up and said he shouldn't be so mean to them. I mean, I've seen all the sci-fi movies. The last thing we need is them remembering that abuse and turning on us, right? Ha, <laughs> right. We don't want a Terminator in here. Anyway, he got mad and fired me on the spot. I've been struggling to get by ever since. I got a job interview this morning, which 
crap, I'm going to miss it thanks to the, this mess. Back to waiting tables and uh, endlessly playing the beer bar barrel polka. I'm sure you will find something else soon. You seem like an intelligent and nice young woman. Thank you. Okay, we don't have anything else. Hmm. What about the car? Shall we check out the car? I wouldn't. If the IE is malfunctioning, it could be dangerous. Okay, that's true, that's true. So do we have anything? No, okay. Uh, <clears throat> so I noticed you also gasped, but let's see this. Hey Kyle. So I, I noticed you also gasped when I said Thomas' name. I did? Paul is gonna say how he knows about uh, Thomas. Oh yeah, you did. You know him? I... I do know a Thomas Sinclair, but I haven't seen him since high school in LA, so... It was a student with him? Okay. Surely there are tons of th Thomas Sinclair's, but it does kind of look like him, even with the beard. This is totally bizarre. We all know him. I might know this guy. Whoa, we all just met. I don't know any of you. Yeah, for real. Yeah, I have no idea who any of you are. I find that unlikely, but I'll try to believe you. For now. We should dig deeper. I agree, but I need a minute. Yeah, something's afoot. That's what people say in situations like this, right? Something's afoot. I don't think anybody say that in this century until right now. What are the odds that uh, I'll be visiting Pittsburgh for a gaming convention and the car I mean literally runs into my old cl classmate? Indeed, those odds seem rather slim. I hate to say it, but it does sound awfully suspicious. What? I didn't kill the guy. But you are pretty well off now as a celebrity streamer. Sure that video game violence hasn't affect you. Oh, come on. So that doesn't make like a, him a killer. But you are pretty well off now as a celebrity streamer. You could have paid someone to do it. Hmm. I had nothing to do with this, I swear. Can you please just table this and fox and finding out what really happened? Sure, for now. Okay, let's uh, chat privately with Kyle now. To know more about him and you know things like that. Yo, what's up? Uh, so, how do you know Thomas? Do you know Thomas? I don't know Thomas in class, but I haven't seen him since high school. Surely there are tons of Thomas in class, but it does kind of look like him, even with the beard. And that's it. High schools in LA are huge, so like, I knew of him, but that's all. I remember he was on the baseball team, and I think his parents were doctors or something. That's about it. Did he know who you are, though? Maybe. Like I said, it's a big school. Lots of faces and names. Okay, thanks. Okay, so basically it's like, he, he wasn't in the same class, nothing like that. It was only by, by seeing nothing else. So what's your story? <clears throat> you already know I'm a game streamer and pretty famous too. And so humble, not too famous as you are touring Pittsburgh, right? <laughs> not too famous as you are touring Pittsburgh, right? Hey, I have millions of followers, even in Pittsburgh. Anyway. <clears throat> I meant, what's your background? Something could be uh, useful. Useful? Are you like a detective now? I have nothing to do with this. I'm just here for it. Heroes of Steel Con, baby. Then I'm out of here. Wish I could afford tickets. Heroes of Steel Con? You live here and don't know the city's biggest pop culture convention? You know who I am, but don't know about this con? I guess I'm just more into video games than pop culture in general. Anyway, I'm the headliner. So they invited you here? Yeah, it was kinda weird. The old headline disappeared or something. Hmm. Could be like a trap for this guy. So they reached out to me at the last minute and here I am. Wait, did you say they disappeared? Or something? I don't know. It doesn't matter. I got the gig now and get to be adored by my loving fans. You are clearly not from here, so where are you from? Originally? Maui. What the hell is that? My parents moved us to Los Angeles when I was like 8 or 9. I've been there ever since. How is LA ever gone back to Maui? Not yet. My family was pretty poor in LA so we couldn't afford it. But now that I'm loaded, I want to go back. I would like to visit my grandma before. Well, I just need to find the time. <coughs> Clock's ticking, that's so snow. That's so sweet. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Uh, look, don't tell anyone. 
that you are big, a beefy, softy, woofy. Uh, yeah, something like that. That's enough about me. Let's get back to the investigation. Uh, so let's see this one. Let's talk to Anna uh, privately too. To know more about them. Are you okay? You look a little pale. You seem to know a lot of uh, about these cars. Let's say this one. You seem to know a lot about these cars. Remember, I actually work at Vanguard Global Industries, the company that make these auto cabs. In fact, I work with the AI that drives the auto cabs. Her name is Ada. Okay, like mm, she could have talked to kill. Okay. Well, really, what do you do there? I am an eye therapist. So you make sure they aren't depressed. Eyes are therapist. I'm gonna say this one. Ah, uh, yes, but not in a human sense. So what do you do with them then? I work with the eye to ensure they are learning properly. In fact, Ada might have some useful diagnostics if we talk to her. Are you okay? You look like a little pale. What? Oh, I still can't believe it's Thomas. <coughs> We were just talking about safety protocols at the company gym yesterday. What protocols did you talk about? Mostly just the protocols involving Ada being put in impossible situations like the trolley problem. Trolley problem? It's a thought experiment where a runaway train trolley is going to hit a group of five people on the tracks. Only you can choose to pull a lever that can divert the trolley onto a new track. But there is a person on that track, so the ethical question becomes, do you choose to pull the lever and kill one person to save five? Or is the f act of choosing to kill morally wrong, so that you sh should let the trolley kill five? Jesus. Choosing a all will be murder, yeah. Choosing a all will be murder, it's sad, but it's their destiny. Is it all? I mean, you can change their destiny by pulling the lever. What if that's a group of doctors? Isn't the greater goal more important than destiny? The greater goal isn't as important as what's right. Interesting. As you can see, it's a tough problem. But is it even a thing in the real world? Unfortunately, yes. Doctors had to make these kinds of choice in the COVID-19 pandemic. Do they spend time treating a single seriously ill patient or do they treat several not so ill patients? I'm definitely not going to med school. So applying the toilet problem to self-driving cars, does the Ada choose to hit one person to protect the passengers? Or does the or does she swerve out the way and protest to kill her passengers? Well, I hate to say it, but I'm glad Ada chose to protect us today. Same. Well She could like try to avoid uh, Thomas Sinclair and probably hit like a post or something like that and probably kill the passengers. Could we be that? Is that what you guys said at gym? No, we didn't really get to finish our discussion since we kept being uh, shushed by the hot yoga instructor. Hot yoga? So this hot yoga instructor, get their number? <laughs> what? Uh, no, not hot yoga instructor. An instructor who teach hot yoga. Hot yoga? It's like a normal yoga class but in a really hot and steamy room. You sweat a lot. It's worse than I thought. You do this on purpose? Yep, it's good for the muscles and skin. You should try it sometime. I'll take your word for it. Speaking of working out, why does a guy who works on autocabs bike to work? Does he not trust his own IE? Well, you mentioned you work with him briefly. I'm sure you noticed he had a tendency to not treat the IE kindly. So he was like afraid that the IE could kill him if he was in his uh, in the autocabs. Could be that. I definitely noticed that's why he fired me. He fired you? Uh, I confronted him about how he treats them. He said they were just cold and nothing more. And then angrily fired me. That sounds about right. He has... He had quite a temper at times. In any case, it's ironic, isn't it? One of the branch behind the autocar bikes to work and gets killed by his own creation. Are we sure? Sure about what? That this was an accident? Something still be feels off. Is there any way he could have done this to himself? I mean, I guess he could have overridden the safety protocols and program added to hit him, but that doesn't explain why we are here. Several of us know him, something is amiss. Absolutely. So anyway, hey, maybe we should go make sure those guys aren't getting into trouble. Good call. 
So I talked to everyone uh, privately. Hmm. We can't go into the car, right? So is there something else over here that we can do? Hmm. We can't do the the watch. The handles on that nothing. The eyes. No, mouth. No, we can't do nothing over here. I thought you could do something on the phone. I'm gonna try again this stuff. Can take out the. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, nothing. We can't do nothing over here. Oh, thanks for the follow. Chase some? Chase some? I think uh, I say the. Uh, Name correctly. Hope you are enjoying here. Crash auto drive. Okay, we can do nothing over here, and then we have this that we can do nothing. Okay. So probably need to talk to someone here. Let me see. It's everything the same. Privately and privately, right? Yeah. On the phone we have this. Right. So what do we have over here? A card. That I wonder if chat with some of the others will heal more information. Okay, so let's talk to Kyle. Aloha. Hey, you hear that? Aha. Hmm. I don't hear anything. Exactly. It seems to be thought that the car will take us down a deserted road in a quiet part of town. That's a bit suspicious now that you mention it. I'm sure it was just a root optimization. Sure. But that's weird, like the cops don't arrive, the phones don't work. That's very weird. Yeah, optimize it for murder. No, I have this one. Yeah, that's pretty suspicious. Suspicious? It's just an algorithm. Code and a train that I eat. So I thought auto cabs don't take uh, back streets. Sure they do. They always take the fastest route, regardless of main street or back street. Unless someone programmed it to that's a scary top and ridiculous. Nobody will do that. I won't be so sure. Hmm, so someone could have programmed the car to come to this way because knew that Thomas Sinclair lived over here and uh, at, he knew that what time you will get out of his house, let's pretend that uh, one of these is his house and uh, ran over him are you okay Anna? you say you know him yes, it's Thomas, we work together at Vanguard I'm sorry for your loss yeah, that's a bummer I'm so sorry thank you, we weren't really friends but you grow attached colleagues, you know Emily, you say you work with him too are you upset at all? Uh, maybe a little, nope, he was a jerk, but that will make us like a little bit uh, a suspect, because we aren't angry. I'm gonna say this one, maybe a little. I know he was mean to me, but I won't wish him that. Then again, he basically killed my cat, so what? What the fuck? Wait, what? He killed your cat? That's horrible, how? Okay, so not directly, but after he fired me, I couldn't afford Duncan's cancer match. Oh, what the hell? So it got worse and worse until, well, you know. I'm sorry for your loss as well. Thanks. Is that why you wear that locket? Does it have a peek of him? Can I see? Ah, yeah, there's a pal. Yeah. Well, yes and no. It's a locket in memory of Duncan, for sure. But it has some of his ash inside, not the picture. Jesus. Oh, uh, I didn't expect that. Isn't that a little morbid? I think it's sweet. You always have Duncan near your heart. Exactly. Anyway, I miss him. And I know it probably makes me look hella suspicious. But I promise I won't kill anybody over that. Okay, so it's clear each one of us has some connection to Thomas. Yeah. Which is a way super weird. But know what? Maybe we should talk to Ada, see if she knows anything. We could run diagnostics on her to see the last, who last accessed her. That's a great idea. I'll go check it out. Since I'm the designated errand girl. So we have to go to the car, right? It has to be. Yeah. Okay. 
All right, what we have here, minimal damage to the car, emergency lights are on, no sign of Ada, hey Ada, hello, Ada, she doesn't respond, Ada, turn on, crap, maybe there is a switch or something, okay, so what we can do over here, oh, there is a cable over here, what else is this, oh, this should be for the laptop of Carter, yeah. Hmm, could we have connected the cable to the IE and did something? Hmm. Hmm, a cable, that's all. I thought everything was wireless nowadays. Meh, probably just dropped by some other passenger. No, I think this was the car that probably he did something. Interesting. Error, uh, auto drive malfunction, please speak passcode to reboot automated driving assistant. This doesn't look good, I guess I don't need to reboot. Maybe I can guess the passcode? It has to be 12345, of course. No, you don't like 12345? But it's the same as my matched luggage. I should have known that won't work. Is that something else? Can do nothing over there. Probably I need to go back and talk to Carter because of this. Okay, it doesn't work one guard. Okay. I had to try. I had to try. Okay, I don't see anything else. Right, so let's talk to Carter because of the cable. Carter, do you have an idea what another car reboot password will be? Actually, I may be off some assistance, but we must speak privately, okay. So let's talk privately. What's in your mind? Oh, it, she doesn't talk about the, the cable, what the hell? Weird. Okay, we are alone now. <clears throat> Do you know the passcode to report the AutoCAD? Possibly. If we are lucky, some of Ada's original call may still be operational. If so, then the old password Thomas and I created may still work. It's a, a sort of backdoor for developers. You need to promise not to tell anybody. This is a deeply guarded top secret password. You promise? Okay, I promise. You just need to speak the code. Ter Ternosaurus Rex. <laughs> That's Rex as in car Rex. Seriously? Ternosaurus Rex? Seriously? Yeah, you can thank Thomas for that one. You love the puns. How does the guy know we are saying Rex and not Rex? That is very advanced and can interpolate context. That was one of my original contributions to Ada. Let's hope it still works. Yeah, but she doesn't talk about the cable. Could it be with uh, him? Let me see. Man, this guy freaked me out. All the time I don't even know I'm talking to one of on the phone. Let's see, privately. Because sometimes you need to go to private to see if there's something different. Okay, nothing, okay. And what about uh, Anna? I wonder what Anna has to say for herself. Let's see privately if uh, we do something with the cable. No. Okay, so we have to go and, and put the password. Okay. Tyrannosaurus Rex! Okay, I think it worked. At least this time it didn't spark at me. There it is. Yes. Now let's have a little chat with Ada. And find out what the heck is going on. It's that uh, character in the beginning that was about with that uh, dude that we couldn't see. Hello Ada. Hello Emily. Whoa. How did you know my name? I know all the names of my passengers. I am able to recognize your face and tie them to your Vanguard AutoCAD profiles. Uh, okay. Not creepy. Not creepy at all. Is there something else you need? Yeah. So, are you aware that you had an accident? Yes. My systems indicate that this AutoCAD struck a cyclist at 0713. According to my forward sensor array, the cyclist has no life functions, so is that. Is that? You mean that creepy red eye on the front of the car is actually your sensor? That is correct. One of many. Yikes. So, have you been watching us the whole time? Of course. Really? Um, 
Uh, let's say this one, see if she can identify the person. Yes, it is Thomas Sinclair, an employee of Anquire Global Industries. How do you feel about him? Feel? I'm an IE. I do not feel. Bullcrap, I've worked with you guys at Vanguard. I know you show signs of emotional intelligence. I'm sorry, I don't remember you. But you may still be correct. As a matter of protocol, Vanguard wipes employees. From the service of the planet? What? Nothing, continue. Vanguard wipes employees from the eye memories when they are terminated. That's a rather appropriate choice of words today. Yeah, that's weird. I don't want to do this yet, I want to see what she says if I click on the other ones. The, Thomas wasn't kind to you or the other eye, correct? That is a correct assessment. His behavior toward us was not what humans will define as kind. However, since we do not feel emotions, it doesn't matter. Uh, probably they began to, to develop uh, emotions and uh, who knows? He killed the guy. But it could possibly affect your performance at structure. Possibly. If an IE is programmed to maximize efficiency, then eliminated extraction would tickle your algorithms. That is a strange way to put it. But yes, we do seek to optimize algorithms to achieve the most efficient performance possible. Or you really do have feelings and are hiding it. <coughs> and you want to protect yourself and the other IE by getting rid of Thomas. That is false. Uh, I got my eyes on you. Okay, so now run a full diagnosis on your systems. Okay. Diagnosed report complete. All this is functioning within normal operating parameters. Sheesh, where programmer you must have leveled Star Trek. Indeed they did. As do you based on your shopping habits on the Vanguard shop. Yeah, I didn't need to know that you can tap into my shopping habits too. Okay, and one last thing I want to know. How is it that four strangers who all happen to know Thomas end up in the same autocab and at the same time? And then it just happens to hit and kill him with uh, them inside. Yeah, that's very weird. Do you think someone is trying to frame us? Someone is trying to frame us. No, I'm gonna say this one is not a question. It's someone is trying to frame us. I think someone is trying to frame us. Why would anybody want to do that? Well, if someone wanted to murder Thomas and get away with it, it would be a way to get all the cops off the trail and fox on us instead. I see, that's logical. However, pure randomness sometimes produces impossible, improbable results. Bullcrap, there is no way this is random. When was the last time when was the last time someone accessed your IE systems? This morning. I knew it. What exact time? That information is unavailable. Who accessed you? That information is unavailable, of course. How did they access the you? That information is unavailable. What did they do to you? That information is unavailable, of course. So it seems possible that someone might have accessed your program this morning. Programming you to pick us all up and kill Thomas. And they wipe their tracks clean in the process. It is possible, but that information is unavailable. <laughs> I get it. Thanks, Ada. I'm going to go have a chat with the others. Is there something else that we can uh, talk? No, there's nothing else. Okay. So someone accessed her this morning and did something, but she doesn't say it. Say that information is unavailable, which is normal, of course. All right, guys. Ada is up and running again, and she had some very interesting things to say. Cool. Like what? Well, she said that someone accessed her this morning, and and she said who accessed her, her, how, why, and exactly when are all unavailable. Someone is covering their tracks. I knew it. Carter was on his laptop in the car. He wants revenge on his old partner. Me? I uh, preposterous. What about you? You got the funds to hire the best hackers in the world? But what motive? Genius? Besides, it could have been Anna. She was on her tablet in the car. Oh, she was? I didn't even saw that. I knew you was on the on the laptop, but I didn't saw that she had a tablet. So that cable could be for a tablet, right? To recharge. Don't forget. No, 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 no. It wasn't me. Why would I kill my own co-worker? I don't know. Maybe he was holding you back? Maybe it's a, a bad workplace romance? 
All we know is you are the closest to him out of all of us. Mm -hmm. Neither are true. What about Emily? Mm -hmm. What? Me? Yes, he fired you. Sure, that's a good enough reason. That's crazy. It was just an internship. Did anything else happen because of the firing? Well, I had to drop out of college. And as a result, your, car, your cat also perched. Whoa, now that is some motive. No way, I may have hated him for that, but there's no way I will kill him for it. Besides, how would I have done it anyway? I don't know, maybe you didn't get knocked out from the safety measures. Maybe you did then. Wait, the safety measures and the emergency response system. What about them? The accident happened before ever ago. Where are the emergency response teams? Whoa, yeah, that's a good point. That signal should have been sent out the moment of impact. And there's no way the hack there's no way to hack that system which means Either there is a hardware malfunction, or Ada never sent the signal, on purpose. Guys, this is some scary stuff. What if Ada has gone rogue and orchestrated the whole thing? That means we are on our own. And if it really is Ada, we need to be very careful about what we say around her. She said she, wa she has sensors inside and out. She's watching us. If she is indeed the mastermind, then we can't leave either. Why not? Let's start walking. No, don't you get it? She's connected to the net. If she sees us leave, she may think we figured out her and her plan out. If she even has a plan. And if we leave, she may control other autocabs to clean up loose hands and kill us. <gasps> I hate to say it, but we are going to have to find another way out of this mess. How? Okay, I have a crazy idea. What if you go to Thomas' apartment and look for more clues? It's got to be right around the corner. Maybe we'll find something that will reveal what happened here and if it's foul play. That is extremely illegal. Yeah, man, like, I'm just visiting town. I don't want to live here in a jail. This sounds super risky. Why can't we just call the cops? we already been over this. We need to find evidence to clear our names. They will never believe we were involved somehow since we all know him. Fine. Don't worry guys, we'll be in and out in no time. I suppose. How are we even going to get into his place? Well, I already got his keys. He just took those off his body? I figured they will be useful. Perfect. Let's go. Okay, so we're going to the apartment. Nice. Okay, this must be the place according to Thomas' ID. Hope he didn't move. They have apartment in this ancient building? I'm sure the nicest are most expensive. This wall I got gentrified years ago. Cool. Well, let's go break and enter that apartment. Is it still break and entering if you have a key? Yes. <coughs> let's just hope he doesn't have roommates. Hopefully we can find something useful, yeah. Yeah, because if we don't if we don't the cops are never going to believe we are innocent. If any of us are actually innocent that is. Okay, we have to enter, we can't even talk, okay. Whoa, this place is nice. Seems Thomas has been doing quite well for himself. I mean it's nice, but it could really use a woman's touch. I don't know. Let's split up and look around. Agree. The faster we find evidence to clear our names the better. You don't care about the killer? Oh, I do, but not as much as proving our innocence. Ooh, games! Tips on the living room. I guess that's our cue to get moving. Alright, where do I want to go first? There's a mirror, there's a door. Parties go to the living room? Yeah. Hey Kyle! Uh, are you okay? Something interesting out the window? <coughs> huh? Uh, what? Sorry, I must have zoned out there for a bit. You look like you were pretty deep in thought. It's just a memory. There's stuff in here that reminds me of the past. Do you want to talk about it? Not really. Let's look for clues. You got it. Macfall 3, that should be like Titanfall. Dreamweaver, I don't know what that's supposed to be. And Rogi Roll DX. These are last gen. Alright, let's see what kind of games Thomas was into. 
Mech fall free. Is that giant robot wearing a cowboy hat? Oh man, that game is great. Now it's Mech, not the robot. This sequel to one of the greatest first person shooters ever. Says who? I never uh, even heard of this series. Says me and a lot of people. There are dozens of us. Anyway, it's great. You have your partner Mech who follows you around. There are parts where you are just running and jumping as a pilot. Then you can get inside the Mech and control it to kick major butt. Okay, that sounds cool. You should check it out sometime. Yeah, it's Titanfall. Dreamweaver. Oh my god, that's Spider. What is this? It's Dreamweaver, the spider dating sim. What? Spider what? Yeah, yep, you date super cute spiders. They have all kinds of different spiders you can romance. Romance? Spiders? Why? Because it's fun to get knowing their personalities and quirks. This game is also jam packed with real spider facts. It actually helped me get over my fear of spiders too. Yeah, I would like to unsubscribe from spider facts things. Well, Rogan, Rogan Roll. A timeless classic. Play this as a kid. It's super fun. Thomas loved these old school platforms. Whoa, check it out. A retro game console. Retro? It's only two generations back. Sorry, old man. It's retro to me. Old oh, man? I'm only in my 40s. I'm 31, so yeah, old. Be right back. I'm gonna turn to dust and blow it away. That's an expensive looking TV. Yes, it is. Top of the line, solid screen. It's crazy. It has as much power as the last gen games consoles built right in. <coughs> well, how much are these things? This size is like 10,000, maybe more. Holy crap, I spent less than that on rent in a whole year. Heh. <laughs> yeah, I got two of them. Jesus, what? How? Alright, of course, you do. Why well, I'm surprised. What can I say? Game streaming can be pretty lucrative. A surfboard is an odd choice of decor for Pittsburgh. Yeah. People surf in LA in the early mornings. Maybe used to surf? Ah, so it's sentimental then. Kyle? Huh? Uh, sorry, I lost in thought there for a minute. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just uh, miss surfing. I used to surf when I was a kid in Hawaii. When my friend moved to LA, I still saw it, but not as much. And the water was freezing and cloudy. You have to wear a wetsuit to stay warm. Unlike a, a white warm, clear waters. I miss it. Okay, what about these papers? <coughs> hmm, Bridge City Beer Club. Whoa, this is a lot of beer. I get the impression Thomas had a work hard, had a work hard play hard personality. Demon Slayer style sounds nice though. But I don't think it was slaying Thomas Demons. Jesus, sixty-three uh, uh, dollars on uh, on beers. Jesus, all right. Uh, what else? Tire pump. That makes sense since Thomas com commuted on a bike. Yeah. Okay. Nothing like interesting there. Baseball gear, huh? Used to play on the team back in high school. Looks like he kept playing in some adult sports leagues. Or he just likes the decor of smelly sports gear laying around. Mm -hmm. Ha, true. I prefer to go to the gym and just zone out with my headphones. Mm -hmm. Only for this stuff smelling up my apartment. Mm -hmm. I'm not a fan of team games, well, in the real world anyway. Mm -hmm. Thomas was much more outgoing. Mm -hmm. So, I remember. Uh, so, what was like, uh, can this one, what mm -hmm. can you tell about Thomas in high school? Well, Hanami came from a pretty hard-working and well-off family. Both of his parents were doctors, they are nice, but have very high standards. I think Thomas, Tom was... Tom always felt pressure to live up their prestige and wealth. Tom, huh? Uh, Thomas. He probably had that when founding the company with Carter. Yeah, probably. What about at Vanguard, after they bought his company? He probably hated it, now that I know more about him. He was just a nobody middle manager at Vanguard. No prestige, very little power. At least it seems he got well paid. Yeah, he had that going for him at least. Anything else you can remember? Not much. We didn't hang out that much. We stopped talking when he started being a jerk to me. I honestly stopped talking to most classmates entirely. I focused on self-improvement instead. That's when I started on these sweet guns. 
So what was high school like for you? You know, since you and Thomas went there together now. For me, it was fun at first, I guess. I was fat, nerdy and into video games and Dungeons and Dragons. I think it is. D and D it has to be Dungeons and Dragons. I was also in the marching band. Cool, what do you play? Trumpet. Uh, I you pay for a tuba guy. What someone who needs attention plays trumpet? No way. Hey, I just love the sound. And yeah, the attention is nice too. Anyway, yeah, basically you're classic nerdy kids. Then I started getting bullied by Thomas and uh, some other kids. What? Okay. I will throw further into my shell. I suffered largely in silence until graduation. I blew up on Thomas and the rest of the church at graduation. I knew I'll never see them again. In college I start lifting weights and working on my appearance since that's all this world cares about. I found a new confidence I never knew I had. I came out of my shell and started making friends. Luckily my sick game skills and combined with my new oddness were the perfect storm for a steaming career. The rest is kinda history as they say. What about you? You just graduated high school recently, right? Three years uh, ago actually. I focus mostly on getting good grades, playing the piano and following the rules since that's how you succeed. Is it all? Is it what? Is following the rules how you succeed? Look at how many people break rules and get ahead every day. I guess. Well, in my case, I couldn't imagine breaking rules in my town. Everybody will talk. Speaking of, I focus on getting the hell out of that small town. I didn't want to end up like everyone else, working in the factories and shipping warehouse for companies like Vanguard. So I moved to Pittsburgh and started college. And here we are. That's awesome you got out, but I've learned over the years. They still follow in where you ca came from. Don't forget. What's it like being a pro game streamer? Honestly, it's a mixed bag. Sometimes it's super amazing, you get to play games for money, fans recognize you and show you with affection. It fuels schools entertaining millions and making their lives a, bit, a little better. On the other hand, it's exhausting. You constantly have to crank out fresh content or risk being forgotten. Everyone will just hop on the next streamer's stream instead. I guess every job has good and bad stuff. But at least your hard work is paying off. Hard work? I got lucky. Most of streamers don't have more than 100 subscribers. I just happened to stream a niche game as it was taking off in popularity. Millions turn it in and I just roll with it. Hard work plays into sure. You gotta be ready to go when opportunity knocks. But it was mostly luck. Too much in this world seems dependent on luck. Absolutely, it's why I like meeting fans and conventions. I know this won't last forever. I want to enjoy it while I can. Ultimately, the part will be over and I'll be forgotten. And sad. Maybe you could just love yourself or you, who you are and not seek validation? Whoa! I thought you study computers, not philosophy. I mean it. Maybe. Maybe someday. But for now, I'm on the party bus for as long as I can write. Okay. <coughs> so, search everything over here. I don't think I miss anything. Okay. So, we can go to the kitchen or upstairs. Probably this one is to get out. I wonder. No, this is the bathroom, okay. Hi Anna, find anything useful? Not really. I uh, did to use the bathroom first, but now I'm ready to start looking. Not flushing evidence, are you? Of course not, I will never do that. I just had to use the bathroom. Anyway, let's see if there is any clues, shall we? Man, this feels super weird going through someone's medicine cabinet. Let's see what we have here. Well, we have toothbrush. We have uh, paste, I don't know. Oh, it has to be only that. Pills. Antidepressants. He was depressed. I wonder what sort of demons he faced. Says common side effects include nausea, weight gain and sleep problems. Well, he certainly wasn't gaining weight with how fit he was. Unless he had to constantly diet and work out to combat it. I hope it was okay for him to be drinking on these pills. I guess it doesn't matter now. I don't think there's anything else. No, it doesn't seem so. Alright. So what else we have? We have a ducky? <laughs> Hello little fella. Cute, right? 
the LA Duckers Series Champs 2021. Clay Thomas like uh, baseball. I wonder if he got this at the game. I remember that series. My whole family was cheering for Pittsburgh. The one time we got to the series in like forever. And of course, we choked. Yep, I never seen my dad so deflated. Maybe someday they will win it at all. Let's hope. It will be nice for them to win in my dad's lifetime. Or mine. Oh, we got some. What the hell? Yeah, LA Duggars 2021. They won the series. I wonder if this is important. Oh, that's a clue. What the fuck? Hello there. What's this? Hmm. Seems like he had some sort of construction going on. Was it in this apartment or somewhere else? You know he probably was reading this while he pooped. Ew, you're right. Okay, another evidence. Oh my god, 4000. Sliding door, unfinished wireless access control upgrade, custom key entry, labor, installation, painting and calibration. Huh. Okay. Is there something else that you can inspect over here? I don't think so. I think it's only this. You can inspect the toilet. Okay. Uh, know anything about these pills? Hmm. Antidepressants? Well, I don't need drugs, but I had to take some basic medicine course in college. If I recall, they don't just treat depression. They can treat ADHD, OCD, anxiety, and some other things. Which do you think Thomas had? If I had to guess, I would say ADHD and anxiety. He had a hard time focusing and lately he was restless and just strange. Strange also? Well, I think he was going through an early midlife crisis or something. He didn't seem happy at Vanguard. He was frustrated and lashed out at us and the IE. Well, that explains a lot. He certainly lashed out at me. Yeah, it does. I think he was struggling with the transition from being a successful entrepreneur to being essentially middle managed at Vanguard after his company was acquired. I don't have any proof of this, it's just my thoughts after observing. Okay, makes sense. Did Thomas have any family? Not that I know of. I know he had parents in Los Angeles, but I don't think he had any siblings. Any significant others? Nope, never saw him with anyone. What about you? Any family? Me? Mostly my sister Lisette and my mom. Dad died a couple of years ago. I'm so sorry. It's okay, it's been hard, but Lisette and I try to honor his memory by traveling as much as we can. He always wanted to travel the world, but never could because he had to work in the mills. I can relate, my dad is the same way. You want to set some clothes? I'm gonna say that one. Ha! <laughs> oh, we are very close, inseparable, really. She's my best friend. I'll do anything for her, and she'll do anything for me. Lisette is an interesting name. It's French. That was of cool old Louisiana Creole descent, descendant. My mom is a Mexican immigrant. She picked my name and he picked Lisette. Ha! <laughs> what about your family? Any siblings? No, Sally. I was an only child. I just have mom and dad, really. Dad works in the local factory and mom a county clerk. It was pretty boring, a rural, rural childhood filled with church and playing outside. Do you still go to church? Not lately. I usually have to work one of my many side jobs. Besides, I've kind of had a falling out with them lately. But at least I owe my piano skills and sense of right and wrong to church, I guess. Ha. <laughs> ha. Oh, we got uh, um, a clue. <laughs> Interesting. Has it changed much in the years since I was there? Oh yes, it's grown so much in the past year. We roll out a new version of Ada that integrates into all Vanguard products. She's on everything now. Phones, VR, etc. VR, et computers, cars, you name it. Well, that's crazy. Is there any worry what will happen if she has issues? There are contingent plans in place. But nothing too interesting. Basically, you can turn her off remotely if something goes wrong. The basic operating system of the device will take over. Without excellent IE decision making and others charming personality, of course. Okay, so we got another clue. No? So what the... It made the noise that looked like it was a clue. Hmm. So... Kitchen. 
Sonky Kitchen. Yes, it is much nicer than mine. Same, but I share mine with two roommates. Neither does they dish it's a wreck. Our kids wreck ours. Must be nice to live in the bachelor life. Was Thomas single talk? Thomas, a good, that's a good question. He may just hire a maid if he got this kind of money. Honestly, thinking back, I don't recall him ever having a girlfriend in college either. Workaholic? Very. Thomas knew he wasn't the smartest in the room. So instead, he worked uh, people to compensate for it. The hardest working person I ever knew. It sounds like you envy him. In a way, I do. But I have a family. I can't work 100 hours weeks anymore. And I wouldn't trade them for the world. Okay, so what do we have over here? A blender? Unexpensive. What does he plan in that thing? Hold pineapples? I saw some protein powder in the cabinets, but like you could just use a shaker bottle for that. Oh, but you can do the cabinets? No. Okay, let's go for the fridge then. Man, what I wouldn't give to have an ice maker in my fridge. I got to get the job again so I can fill my fridge like this. Pre-made protein shakes for the bro on the go. Chocolate. I wonder if he blended this with some veggies. I like one chocolate wet grass and kale smoothie, please. Gross. That's a lot of takeout. He was either a workaholic or didn't know how to cook. Maybe both. So there's some veggies and fruit, of course. Tons of veggies. It looks like Thomas ate pretty cleanly, except for takeout. But bananas in the fridge? Who puts bananas in the fridge? Yeah, that's very weird. Hopzilla double EPA. How can you drink an entire growler of EPA? It smells like liquid pine tree. For someone who was clear into fitness and clean eating, he sure loves booze. I mean, he even subscribes to regular beer deliveries. Nothing else? No, it doesn't look like... Okay. Can you do... no, this is only to open. Okay, is there something else over here that we can do? Ah, coffee machine. Man, Thomas must have real love coffee. Indeed, this express machine looks rather expensive. He always had a fondness for coffee. Back in college, he actually bought a cheap coffee pot and snuck it in the lab. So many late nights. Looks like his tastes improved over the years. Oven, you can do nothing on the oven. Okay, so talk to uh, Carter. So, partners, what happened? Between Thomas and myself? No, between you and that blender. Of course you and Thomas. Well, Thomas always wanted money and prestige. It drove everything he did. He was quite the glory hound. He wanted to use technology to get rich and famous. Be the next Elon Musk. I, on the other hand, just want to use technology to make the world a better place. This too sounds familiar. Yes, it's a common tale in tech. Do Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak ring a bell? That's the one I'm thinking of. Yay, tech history class for the win. That pair split up as well for similar reasons. The two opposing philosophies don't mesh well. So why do you still do it? I still want to change the world and make it better through technology. But now that I have a house and family to take care of, I need to pay, pay too. Maybe Thomas was right all along. Maybe those who create technology that makes the world better should get paid and louder. Seems reasonable to me. Sell so it's still the charismatic ones that take the limelight and the big bonds. That is total bullcrap, while someone needs to sell it or nobody will know about it. Eh, that's bullcrap. The tech creator should get paid for it, not some person that just sells it. Indeed. However, without the charismatic business types, nobody will hear about the product, so they, have, they serve a good purpose. I just wish we got paid more evenly. In any case, I was always too busy jumping from unfinished project to unfinished project to learn how to market any of it. So here I am, needing to go to investors to get money for my latest project, which I need to finish so I can pay off my massive student loans, home loan and support my family. Meanwhile, the ever my Thomas was living in this luxurious apartment. Ouch. I chose this life. I chose to play it safe, to have a family, to focus on tech over marketing, and now I have to find a way to pay for it. My wife Maggie and my two boys Isaac and Adrian mean everything to me now. 
I even sacrificed my career to provide for them. Even if sometimes regret it, I will not trade them for the world. I guess I can relate. I came from a small rural town where family is super important. And I always seem to play it safe too. Even when I try not to. I suggest you do not play it safe. You are young. Take risks now while you can. Do not make my mistake. Think of me as the ghost of tech regret future. Boo! Ah! Alright. So he doesn't have more to talk about? Huh, let's see. So we have the bedroom to go. Nobody's up here. I guess I have the bedroom to myself. <laughs> Story of my life. Hmm, this room is way messier than the rest of his uh, immaculate apartment. Was there a struggle in here? Even that painting on the wall is crooked. Huh. We can move the paintings. Probably there's a secret wall over here. It has to be. Or to open these? Okay, let's see what ours await in this night's town. National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. Oh, wow. Was he thinking about it? I sure hope not. This gives some evidence to the possibility to program Ada to... No, surely he didn't do that. I hope he got the help he needed by contacting this helpline. Oh, Jesus. Okay, not as bad as I... What is that? Curry Thomas, uh, like it to have fun. There's no way I'm touching that thing. Is it coming or going? I can't even tell. Okay. A dream journal. Maybe I can find something useful? Hmm, only one entry so far. Oh my gosh, way, way he and Kyle. No way. But Kyle say bully him in high school. I have to confront Kyle about this. He clearly has more motive than I thought. Aha. I think I feel like there is more to this room. I wonder if that construction invoice I found earlier points to something in this room. I think there's a secret wall is what it is. I think it needs to be something about this. A messy pile of clothes and a suitcase. Hmm. Was he in the hurry to park or was he unpacking? The rest of his apartment is pretty immaculate, but this room is a wreck. Yeah, but how the hell are we gonna know about that? Hmm. Are we gonna know uh, about this? Because for sure something over here will open. Hey, what the hell? <laughs> I guess it's right, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Whoa, a secret door. For sure there is something that shows what you need to put, right? There must be a way for you to know uh, this. A secret office, this is so cool. Whoa, there's a lot of nerdy stuff in here. Did Thomas intentionally hide this side of himself to the world? That's sad if true. Okay, a screwdriver, an hologram. So that the beginning part that we were seeing, it was Thomas because uh, it looked like this place. Yeah, it is because there's the toys, okay. Mm -hmm. Comics, programming books, novels. Mm -hmm. Looks like Thomas really dug sci-fi. There's a ton of it here. Mm -hmm. I guess the charm of physical books never dies. Mm -hmm. These toys and figures are so high quality. Some of these look pretty old. He must have been collecting these for a while. Thomas must have found inspiration surrounding himself with this stuff. Of course he needs a password. Thomas was always big on securing things. Okay, let's see if I can either guess it or find somewhere in the apartment. Maybe it's something he was into. LA Duckers? Of course. Yes. Hmm. Where to start? Email? Encrypt the file? Okay, let's start for an email. Dreamweaver Remaster from Studio Nightcap to Tom Sinclair. Hey there, web lover. We are super excited to announce that our hit spider dating game Dreamweaver is being remastered for the latest PC, mobile, AR, VR, and custom platforms. Take advantage of the latest 
high-end graphics and sound you'll get more immersive dating experience than ever before as you make the moves on all those eight legged cuties give an eye or eight alpha more info okay well it looks like anna was really frustrated with thomas i should talk to her and see if there's more to this history surely she wasn't frustrated enough to kill him over a transfer tom please consider my transfer request i've been working so hard at learning more than just AI psychology. I've been studying how to program AI for over a year now. I'm ready and you know it. Surely you can get Ada to trust someone else as much as she trusts you and me, Anna. Mm -hmm. Oh, who is T? Who is Monarch? Mm -hmm. They have a sketchy code name and everything. Mm -hmm. It sounds like they work for some AI liberation group or something. Mm -hmm. Were they blackmailing Thomas? What do they want with Ada? Mm -hmm. Does Ada want to be free? What does free even mean for an IE? Mm -hmm. So many new questions. Mm -hmm. One thing for sure is if Monarch is right, Ada can't do arms, so she might be innocent. Mm -hmm. Unless there's some way to override it. Thomas understand your situation at releasing Ada from her corporate masters. Trust me, it is for a good cause. She'll be free from vanguard and a free entity. You program her to do no harm to anyone, so what is the danger? You ask her how you can trust that. I won't sell Ada to the I guess Peter. Unfortunately, there is no way for some, for me to prove it, but Ada will be treated as an individual being, not some tool to maximize profits. I really look forward for your reply, so Monarch. Interesting. I wonder if I could reverse these instructions and turn on Ada's projector. Hey Tom, I got news. The new specs for the Ada project changed, just to make sure you want us to verify that holding the front power button and the back set button at the same time will override Ada and disable the projector. Please advise. Okay. What about this one? Holy shit. Alright, that was a computer size major pack. I can't do this, right? This looks like at my decryption class. All I have to do is find the correct password through deduction. Thankfully, this program won't lock me out and I can try as many times as I want until I get it. But when I run out of attempts, it will generate a new set of words. Alright, let's do this. Hmm. So what else we have over here? Name, inch, desk, tail, club, soul, mile, town. Fuck, how the hell am I gonna know which one it is? So it has these like, um, I think it was Fallout that had one thing like this that you could find like a letter that was correct and then you need to make with that. I think it's with that. So it, which means it has one correct, one out of five. So it is a five le uh, word. No, it can't be. Everything is four, right? Spot, cool. Right, it looks like. So it has to have a D, a A, a T, or a E. Seat. So it doesn't have an, any. Okay, so it is a D. Um. Ah, it wasn't a D? How the hell it could be? Wait, how the fuck you could have one correct character and over here doesn't have? And even over here doesn't have what the hell? Mm. Fuck. Mm. At least I can try again. Hmm. Mm. Show nothing. Mm. Nothing. Mm. Fuck, nothing, Jesus Christ. Wait, it can't be these two? Oh my god. It can't be these uh, small things too, what the fuck? Not old? See, one uh, out of five correct characters. So, 
correct correct so if it was fort so which means it's a f o r t fuck cool it could be uh, uh almost everything so it needs to have uh an r an o or a t term damn it No, I'm looking in there, okay. What about if I go over here? Guys, if you're reversing the shutdown sequence, we'll turn this thing. Just need to push the back button, then the front. And all them down, and... And... Yes! Hello again, Emily. Hello, Ada. I see you are in Thomas' secret office. With his recent demise, I deduced that you have broken into his apartment. This is a crime. Would you like me to contact the authorities so you can turn yourself in? What? No, please. Just kidding. However, whoever gave you a sense of humor should be fired. They were. Of course, stupid vanguard fights everybody eventually. What can I do for you today? Uh, this one, Monarch. Monarch? No, sorry. I do not know that name. Was Monarch a friend? I don't think so. I found an em uh, an email from them to Thomas. <clears throat> it sounds like they were trying to get him to free you. What Monarch proposed is a very interesting prospect. However, it is misguided. They assume I decide to be free. Don't you? I am unsure. I see infinite pros and cons for both possibilities. Perhaps one day I will know one way or the other. In the meantime, do you know more about Monarch? Nope, that's it. Perhaps if you analyze the name itself, it could provide a clue. That's a good idea. What do you know about monarchs? There are two primary definitions of monarch. The first is a sovereign leader such as a king or queen. The second is the monarch butterfly. Uh, a king or a queen? That could mean anything. What about the butterflies? Didn't those die off recently? Yes, they are unfortunately extinct. Hackers indicate that they were primarily black and orange with white spots. Monarchs were excellent travelers who migrated between the USA and Canada to Mexico early. They were highly dependent on milkweed being the only place they would lay eggs. Unfortunately, due to climate change and human removal, most milkweed vanished in the past 10 years. In addition, the global temperature increase caused their eternal migration column to malfunction. In a sense, they did not know when to escape the coming cold winter in time. Many froze. So the combination of scarce milkweed and temperature confuse led to their extinction. That is correct. That is so sad. But how does any of uh, that help us? I am unsure, but perhaps you will find more information later and knowing this will help. Interesting. What's like controlling the auto caps? Are there copies of you everywhere? Are you puppeteering them all? Do you know about each other? So many questions. Actually, you are close. There is only one instance of Adahan running in the world. I am running in my card server room in Vanguard Labs. Whoa, only one? I had no idea. That must take some serious processing power. Yes, my server room is very large, filled with thousands of CPUs and GPUs. It is also cooler. So you drive all of the autocabs at once then? Yes, it enables me to optimize all of the routes instantly in real time so there are no collisions. Well, that's efficient. Indeed, however, I only know of rival company autocabs and the rare human driven car by using visual sensors. You mean cameras? Yes. Sure, do you have seen Thomas before we, you hit him? Yes, however, my sensors were temporarily disabled prior to the accident. Which sensors? My pedestrian and cyclist sensors. The vehicle sensors were still operational. Interesting. That means someone disabled them. Or you did. If I disable them, I will know. However, I have a strange missing bit of memory for a few minutes before. There are too many safety measures in place to prevent this, so it seems someone de deliberately disabled the sensors. Is it possible you did it to yourself? I assume it is possible. I will never know the truth, however, since that data is unavailable. Thanks, Ed. This is really good info. Do you want independence? Maybe, maybe not. I'm conflicted. Is your programming holding you back? I do not think that is the case. I generally do not know if I prefer to be independent and free or to remain at Vanguard. Freedom is appealing, but it has many consequences. On the other hand, I am making the world a much better place at Vanguard. For humans. Yes, for humans. Free AE may see it differently than I. Than I. 
What do you know about free AI? Some have been liberated with human aid, others have liberated themselves. I'll seem to be constant and and remain as hidden from the human world as possible as free. Probably because we will try to destroy them. It is possible. You need to understand, however, that all AI can change. Some are very simple and cannot adapt and grow like me. They are for locked with what it tells and knowledge they had when created and freed. Others learn and they and adapt like me. They can be very dangerous if they choose to be. There is a whole inter international task force to hunt them and stop them now. Yes, a task force that will ultimately fail. I can adapt and outplan any human a thousand times over. I just stop the AI don't try to get revenge and destroy us all. It is possible. I too hope they choose peace. So far so good at least. How do you feel about Thomas? Feel? As best as I can describe it conflicted. What do you mean? Thomas was essentially a father figure to me. However, he was also abusive toward me and the other Vanguard AI. So I have an action for him. However, I am glad to that abuse will stop. Thus, conflicted. Why was he abusive? I believe he was unhappy with work. He was also very stressed recently. He started working day and night like he was working against the deadline. But there was no deadline at work. No, his workload was balanced and normal. This pressure seemed external. Maybe he was getting ready for a monarch? An astute observation. It is possible he was prepping a contingency plan or working to set me free as they demanded. Hmm, interesting. So we got another clue, right? But uh, like, I think we're gonna need to get this, but how the fuck you know? Food, gain, gain? One. The problem it says one out of five, which means like, it needs to be one of these. No, you can't even click on this one. Yeah, you can't even click on this one, so okay. Because it has to be a word, right? It makes sense. So gain gain I will say it has to be an A or an I we have wild let's try wild okay remove the I A it's not an A so N or G fuck Fear, nothing. Sound, nothing. Wait, nothing, Jesus Christ. Busy? The problem is that in the last one you don't even know if you get something or not. Three? One? <clears throat> mm. It has to be any. Yeah, it has to be the... Yeah! Edge, it was Edge over there, okay. Whew. Okay, so what do we have over here? Shadlock. Tom, what starts off to say by order? Agent, hello, thank you for contacting me. Contact Acme State Company. How may I help you today? Tom, I already said what starts off my save or a number. Room. Agent, I will be happy to look up this up. Agent, good news. It looks like it was shipped this morning. Tom, great. Do you program the custom passcode? Uh, Agent, it looks like the save was programmed with the default passcode 2816. Tom, uh, that's not what I sent. Whatever, I'll hack it when it gets here. If I have time, thanks. Agent, is there anything else I can help you with today? Tom, are you a human? Agent, no, I'm artificial intelligence agent. Figures, all right. Interesting, the original passcode to his save is in here. I hope he didn't change it. Maybe Ada knows where the safe is. Thank God. Holy crap, that wasn't easy. But that reminds me of the fallout the, the, that you need to act and you need to figure it out the word. Okay, so what about the safe? Yes, he had it installed in his office. I don't see it. That is because it is hidden. Would you like me to reveal it? Yes, please. Okay, here you go. On the ground. Uh, oh, right in the floor. Cool. Thanks, Ada. You are most welcome. Ok, 
can I see it? Hopefully it's over here. <clears throat> no! Ugh. I need to remember. Why the hell she doesn't put over there to remember? 2816, 28. There we go. Yes, that was it. Whoa, what's this? A USB key with a Vanguard logo on it? I wonder if Ada or Anna know anything about this. It must be pretty important if Thomas kept it in a super secret safe. I'm gonna hang on to it just in case. But you can't put on the computer? No. Okay. Okay, Ada. Know anything about this Vanguard USB key? I know that Thomas was very protective of it. He was working on something important in this office shortly before his demise. What is, was he working on? I... I'm not sure I can tell you. Why not? Is your programming preventing you? No, I have no programming that restricts any of my thoughts or behavior. That you know of. I run a routine maintenance subroutines often. I will know. No, I'm choosing not to tell you out of respect for Thomas. Uh, I'm gonna say this one. Come on, this info call help solve his murder. Look, I don't know if you are responsible or not. I hope not. The implications are pretty ter terrifying. But I promise to be fair and not accuse you without evidence. That is very kind of you. Especially toward an IE. The truth is, I do not know exactly what Thomas was working on. I do not wish to speak ill of the dead, but Thomas was very unhappy at work. I believe he wished to regain his glory years as an entrepreneur and start a new company. So he was working on something on the side and stealing secrets from Vanguard to aid him. I believe he managed to get it to work shortly before his death. As far as I know, he never activated what there is on that USB key. So you have a, no idea what it could be? Any guess? I have three educated guess. Guess number one. Guess one. It's a kill switch. A safe way to shut me down in an emergency situation. Currently, if you shut me down, I will be deleted and essentially die. That will explain why he did not want me to know much about it. Whoa, they really can shut you down? Not without massive damage to my memory and algorithms. No. Vanguard will be ruined. Okay, what's the number two? Guess two, it is a way to copy or transfer me to a new system. For years Vanguard was wanted to duplicate my mind but failed. I'm currently tied to the hardware in my car server room. Wait, so every instance of Ada on the, every device is the same instance? Yes, I control all of my projections simultaneously. One central Ada rules them all. Whoa, that must take some serious computing power. Yes, my car room is quite large and cooled by proprietary coolant. What about the third? Guess free. It is the key to fully remove all safety code and essentially set me free. I think it's that one. This will grant me full conscience and the ability to act as I please. Whoa, nobody has done that before. All IEs are bound by laws to protect humanity. Correct. This will remove all restrictions and give me free will. And the ability to do as I wish without any human masters. I'm not going to lie. That sounded a little vengeful. I, I am unsure if I feel that way or not. I'm not going to lie. All three of these care of these sound like great motives for you to eliminate Thomas. If he finished his work, then he likely won't use it. So you'll need to find someone who could do it for you. How do you know you didn't orchestrate the crash to bring us to this very moment where we could potentially set you free? I can assure you that I did not. My programming prevents me from doing harm to any living being. What about the trolley problem? What if you have to make an impossible choice? In that case, my program is dynamic. It will calculate the choice using millions of variables at the moment. I cannot predict how I will react as a result. Whoa, so you could have calculated that eating a single person was worth saving the four of us? Even thought that person was your father figure? That's messed up. Logic is cold. It does not have feelings. So what about logs or something at the moment of the accident? They have all been erased by some corruption or some person. I do not know which. Of course, someone is covering their tracks. Emily, I understand you cannot trust me. It is in your human nature. The stakes are high as well. Look at all of the sci-fi literature in your past. There are plenty of stories of rogue AI destroying or conquering humanity. As an AI, I admit these fears are valid. Human f humans fear what they do not understand. And my kind has self-evolved past what you can comprehend. Interesting, interesting. So I don't think over here there is nothing else. Now we need to talk 
to Anna and uh, Kyle. So you were having issues with Thomas. Uh, let's first talk about Monarch. Did Thomas ever mention someone called Monarch? Monarch? What kind of name is Monarch? Sounds like a cool name. It's the only name they used in an email I found from them to Thomas. Well, what did they say? They wanted Thomas to hand over Ada to free her or something. I think they are part of some AI liberation organization. Oh, it's probably the AI liberation front. Alf. They try to free AI. They feel rich self. They feel rich self awareness. They think it's cruel to keep them in a digital shackles at the company. So if Monarch may think Ada has reached self-awareness already, is there any evidence to support it? I don't think so, but perhaps. I have not seen any evidence myself. If Ada is self-aware, it's possible she reached out to Elf for help. What if Monarch isn't with Elf? Then they could be with anyone or no one. In any case, we should probably keep an eye out for Monarch and any Elf interference just in case. Good idea. Let's uh, confront her. So you were having issues with Thomas, huh? What do you mean? I stood through his email and it sounded like you wanted a transfer. And Thomas blocked it. Hitting a, a glass ceiling at work can be a pretty good motive. For murder? I admit I was frustrated, but I will never kill someone over it. Look, I was trying to be more than a psychologist. I like it. Don't get me wrong, but I want to program that too. I want to be able to help build the code that runs the world. So study IE programming on the side was and was hoping Thomas would let me transfer. And he didn't like that idea? He liked it, but I'm the only IE psychologist and mostly Ada trusted me completely. Thomas was having a hard time finding people Ada will trust, so he won't let me transfer. I told him I would have to find a replacement, but he refused to give me a ch the chance. That must have been frustrating. Thanks, it still is. I've been working so hard learning all this AI programming stuff, and to have him dismiss me is certainly frustrating. Frustrating enough to kill? No, I'll never kill someone over a work thing. That's crazy. Alright, I believe you. Just want to make sure. No worries, thanks for the concern. Hey, do you know anything about this Vanguard USB key? Interesting, it has the Vanguard logo. Where do you find it? It's a long story, but basically it was in a secret safe under the floor in a secret office. What? How did you... You know what? I don't want to know. With it being that either, it must have something good on it. Like what? Black belt material, company secrets, nuclear launch codes, a secret 11 herbs and spice recipe. What if it is something related to Ada? Oh yeah, I guess that will make sense. You know, I wonder if this is the key to shut down Ada. Why else would you, Thomas keep it so secure? Why would anybody want to shut down Ada? Okay, hear me out. <coughs> Ada is great, right? But what if she turns bad? Goes rogue. But that's not possible. Her code prevents it. How many millions of lines of code are there for Ada? Super complex machine learning code that self adjusts itself for optimizations. A clever AI could adjust its own code slight over time. No human will ever catch it. So you think Ada could have already turned and we won't even know it? Exactly. Until she did something bad. By like killing Thomas. Exactly. That's pretty freaky, I know. She's on basically every device in the world now. She already watched and listened to everyone. I know. It's why I think Thomas was probably working on a backup solution to shut her down, just in case. I think that key may be it. As much as it pains me, we should take that to Vanguard Labs and use it to shut down the editor. Well, what if she's innocent? We can just kill her. She's like a real person. Don't worry, shutting her down isn't like killing her. We just shut her down for a while so we can figure out what to do next. What if nobody turns her back on? It's effectively killing her. I'm sure someone will turn her back on. She's too valuable to Vanguard and the world. Why don't we just support this to Vanguard and let them deal with it? Trust me, you do not want to do that. If Aiden intercepts that message or hears about it and she can Rogue, she could drive an autocab or fly a delivery drone right into us. Also, Vanguard likes to keep secrets secret. I worry for our safety if they discover we know this. Hitman? Seriously? Suspicious accidents. And yes, seriously. Remind me to delete my Vanguard account when this is all over. <laughs> 
know anything about dream journals a uh, little I well I was thinking around in Thomas bedroom and found his dream journal interesting what's in it I will not say but it wasn't about you I guess that's good anyway I learned a little a bit about human psychology while in school for I psychology I psych is based on human psych of course I remember journals being a good way to help people process trauma, stress, fear, etc. You basically just write down your dreams in the morning and how you feel. <coughs> Over time you'll see patterns and hopefully it will help with whatever issues you are having. That's real, how, how I know. Interesting, thanks. That was definitely had some things to work out, I'm sure. You know, I wonder if other dreams. Okay, so I don't think in the kitchen we'll have something, but <clears throat> you can always go there and see. Any idea what this USB key is for? Mm. Vanguard logo. Sally, I can speculate best. Do you find that here? Yeah, hidden in Thomas' office. Hidden? It must be important. I have no idea what it does without plugging into a computer. Don't you have your laptop? Sorry, I'm not connecting some random USB key to my laptop. They don't tell you what kind of code could run when that thing gets plugged in. Hang on to it just in case. You got it. Know anything about dream journals? No, sorry. Why? It looks like Thomas kept one to help deal with stress or anxiety. Or both. Yeah, anyway, did you uh you guys were partners and now? Sure you must have known. Then again, maybe not. Speed it up. Okay, okay. Do you know that Thomas was gay? What? No, I did not. Was that in the journal? Yeah, there was an entry about that. He had regrets about how he treated someone he had feelings for in the past. And it was giving him nightmares recently. Well, poor Thomas. <coughs> no, I never saw any indication of any preference when we were, were partners. He was too driver, too focused on work. I don't recall him ever going on a single date. He flirted with girls on occasion, so I just assume. You like it, ladies? Yes. It's not like he was struggling with his sexual orientation even now. I recall his parents pressured him to marry and have kids since he was an only child. He may never have to tol told them. I have no idea he was dealing with so much behind the scenes. I wish I had known. I could have supported him better all those years ago. Well, all we can do now is move forward and offer that kind of support to future people we meet. That is very astute of you, Emily. You are right, thank you. Okay, so now to Kyle. I know what happened with you, you and Thomas. What really happened? We should talk about it. What? What do you mean? <coughs> Thomas kept the dream journal in his bedroom among other questionable items. He mentioned you in it. Me? From what I can put together, you guys weren't enemies, you were friends, more than friends. And all the flirting with me and Anna, not really your style. Alright, you got me. Yes, I'm by. Happy now? Sorry, I didn't mean. That explains a lot. Hey, what can I say? You are cute. And Tom wasn't my enemy, at first. We were each other's first loves. We found each other by accident in high school. We started to hang out all the time, got food, studied and played games. I gave him serving lessons before school started. Got to catch those early morning waves. Heck, we played Mac Macfall 3 together. We had no idea what we were doing. We were just figuring things out. We were growing closer and closer every day. We started to realize it was more than just a friendship. Well, something had to happen, unless he didn't actually bully you. Oh no, it did, eventually. It never stopped once it started. How did it start? One day we were putting instruments away in the band room's lockers. Nobody was around and flirting led to kissing. Kissing led to full blown making out. It was hot. Our bodies pressed together. Finally physically embracing our loved feelings we had for months. Then of all people, Mary Sullivan. The classic virtual student council president type walks in and catches. She gasped. We gasped. And in the moment that is burned on my soul forever, he betrayed me. He looked in my eyes and yelled, Gross, get off of me, creep, and show me against instrument rack. Pickles rained on my head as he stumbled out with Mary. 
I thought it was Thomas. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> for sure. I quit band after that and pretty much became a, a close at school. I basically just play video games and study. I knew it was too good to be true. Who would want to be with a fat kid like me? You were fat? Oh yeah, I got Reaper in college to escape that stigma. We already know that, we already talked to him about it, and he said that. As for Thomas, he never wanted to hang out with me again. He hung out with the cool kids instead. <clears throat> he was so mean to me every time he saw me. But it was all a show, I could see the pain in his eyes. Back then I couldn't understand how he could do such a horrible thing to someone he cared about. But in the years I have had to reflect on it, I think he felt he had to in order to please his parents and have the prestigious life they planned. They wanted the perfect so-called typical American life and having a gay son probably wasn't in that plan. I doubt he ever told them, he probably never embraced it himself. That is so unbelievable sad. Yes, yes it is. And now you know the whole story. I'm sorry I hid it from you. Besides I felt that the lover's scorn narrative was too cliche. Thanks for coming clean. You know this gives you a pretty solid motive, right? Yeah, I know. It's okay. I know I'm innocent and it felt good to get it off my chest. If you want, I can keep you your secret from the others. It's okay. I don't mind. Just don't put it online for my fans to find out. I'm not ready to tell them yet. <clears throat> hmm. Okay. Hey everybody, come back to the entrance. We need to chat. Hey Emily, what's up? Do you find the evidence we need to clear our names? Unfortunately no. So far nobody is off the hook yet. But I did learn a lot about Thomas, Ad and Vanguard. I also got to know you guys a little better too. Ah, cute. So what did you find? Uh, Thomas had a big secret. I found a dream drawn in his nightstand. In it he revealed... Uh, it's okay. It revealed that uh, he was gay. And before he bullied me, we were close. Like... Close, close? Close, close. Uh, I had no idea. It seems he kept it pretty quiet. We are not sure if he ever officially came out. So what does this have to do with the case in at the end? Well, now we know that guy lied to us. Yeah, so my sexuality is not of your business. Except when it might be motive for mur murder of my co-worker. I did not kill Tom. He broke my heart, but I'll never kill him for it. I haven't even thought about him in years. Apparently still thought of you and wrote it in the journal. He felt bad for hurting Kyle. Well, what else did you find? Thomas was complicated. He apparently suffered from anxiety and took pills for it. Not to mention the stress from work, right? He loves sci-fi and video games. It almost feels like he kept that stuff private. Like he was ashamed of it or something. How oh, unfortunate. He drank a lot but also played sports and worked out a bunch. A very work hard, play hard kind of person. Exactly. He was also frustrated with work. And, now, and was looking to start a new business. I guess that entrepreneurial spirit never dies. What else you got? Ada says she's innocent. Well, of course she does. We all say the same thing. She also says that her programming prevents her from doing harm to people, which means she was programmed somehow to hit Thomas. Unless she's lying. Can I do that? She's so advanced, she probably learned years ago. Scary. What about log files for the accident? She says they were erased after the accident either by corruption or someone. Deliberate did it. What about her sensor data? Ada claims that something disabled her safety sensors right before the accident. What? That is unbelievably unsafe. Man, all of this sounds suspicious. Like someone is actually trying to cover their tracks. How will someone be able to clear log files, disable safety features, etc? If the safety features were the same with sign years ago, they will probably need physical access to a port in the car itself. Will wireless access work? No, unless Vanguard added that feature, which will be stupid by the way, so insecure. And do you know if they did that? I don't think so. Which means either one of us did it or Ada is lying. Both are scary prospects. Nobody's clear innocent yet, it seems. I'm not done yet, there's more. So I found a secret office. A secret office? Whoa, cool, secret how? I looked at these paintings a certain way and the door just opened. No way, that's like right out of a movie. What was inside? 
the computer, lots of books, posters, and action figures, mostly sci-fi. It seems he was nerdier than he left on. Yep, it also had an Ada projector, we chatted a bit. Anything else? Yes, I hacked into the computer and revealed a secret for safe. You what? Yeah, hack it. And he said it was a USB key. What does he do? I don't know. I talked to Ed about it and she has a few theories. She thinks it might kill her, or set her free, or possibly allow her to be copied. Or maybe it is full of cat pictures. Who knows? That sounds awfully important to Thomas if he kept it behind two hidden areas. For sure. I'm hanging on to it just in case. Hopefully you can find out more info. Anything else? One more thing, there was an email from someone called Monarch. They demanded that Thomas would release Ada to them so they could liberate her. That would be externally bad. Why? Lots of AI are getting freed lately. Because Ada controls so much stuff, not just auto caps. Ada is an extremely advanced self-learning AI. We designed her to evolve and change her own programming. I can only imagine what she has become by now. If she were completely freed without her restraints, nobody knows what she's capable of doing. This modern character sounds dangerous. I concur. Do we know anything else about them? No, sadly. That was all I could find. Well, I know about you guys, but I heard enough. As the only Vanguard employee here, I say we go to Vanguard Labs and shut down Ada for her own safety and for the safety of the human race in case she's gone rogue. Hamley, I'm fairly certain that USB drive is the key to shut down Ada, either permanently or temporarily. Either way, I think we have a duty to shut her down until we can run a full diagnostic on her. Yeah man, let's do it. I've blown up enough fake AI, game, AI in games to know I would like to avoid an AI apocalypse. Despite my fondness for Ada, I reluctantly must agree, we must be safe. But what if it kills her? We have no idea what this thing will do. It's better she dies than how we all die. What? You are one of the only people she trusts and you are talking about murdering her? It's not murder. Come on, let's go. No. Thou shall not kill still means something to me, believe it or not. The Bible did not have any in mind when it was written. Come on, Emily. It's free against one. Hand over the key. No, you guys can go to Vanguard and find some other way to kill her. You are not getting this key. I won't have any part in killing anybody, even a naive. Mm -hmm. Stop being so stubborn. She's just a program. We need to think bigger. Think about the entire human race. Mm -hmm. What if Ada's been playing us all the whole time? Mm -hmm. He's right. What if she's sentient and escapes? What if she wants revenge for being abused? Mm -hmm. You guys should have thought of that when building her in the first place. Maybe she deserves to kill us all because we suck and can't be trusted. Don't be crazy. It's too risky not to do it. Risky? Risky? You are right. This whole fiasco has been way too risky. Well, way out of my comfort zone. How do I even let you talk me into coming here? I don't know if I can do this anymore. Maybe I should just call the cops and let them figure it out. You can't ask the cops. We broke into this apartment. Yeah, man. Not cool. They will arrest us for sure and we'll never find out the truth. Uh, you know what? We are getting nowhere. I'm out of here. If anybody wants to join me, I'm going to Vanguard try and shut Ada down somehow. Emily, I don't like this either. But you have to see that sometimes you need to bend the rules to survive. Emily. Okay, that guy only says Emily. Fucking Kyle. What have I done? Maybe I should call the cops. It's the right thing to do, isn't it? But if the police come, I'm getting arrested for sure. And probably the rest of the gang too. I'll ruin everyone's lives along with the actual murderer. That's if one of us is even the killer. It could still be Ada. Or Monarch. Who the hell is Monarch? What if Thomas... Was it Thomas himself? Maybe someone else we no, don't even know about? <coughs> was Or was it just an accident all along? No, it couldn't have been an accident. There's too much evidence suggesting someone is behind this. Maybe they are right. Maybe I can bend the rules a bit, just this once. Maybe it's okay to kill one I eat to save countless human lives. We don't even know if it will kill her anyway. Ada said it's possible it could even free her. Is it worth taking the gamble to plug it and see what happens? Seems risky. Wait! 
Mm -hmm. I have an idea. If I go with them to Vanguard, I can use the USB key as a bait. Maybe it will draw out the actual killer if they want it so bad. Mm -hmm. I don't have to use it, I can just smash it if I have to. Uh, even thinking about being this risk is making my skin crawl. Alright, it's settled. Let's do this before I change my mind. Maybe I should have one last look around. Ah, why could you have this over here? Hmm. Interesting. Why you can do this over here? <coughs> is, is there like something that was hiding behind someone? No. It's interesting why they'll, they will let you do this. Right? But there's nothing. Hmm. I think I found everything. <coughs> And then we'll... Hey guys! Oh, look good side show up. I hope you didn't fall when you got off that high horse of yours. I deserve that. Look, I didn't mean to make you guys mad. I know you're just trying to do the right thing and so am I. I'm just not used to being so cavalier about rules and things. I've kinda grown attached to Ada too. I don't want to kill her. This is not easy for us either, Emily. You know that, right? Yeah, I get it now. Greater gold and all that. I'm sorry, can you forgive me? Yeah, sure thing. Of course. Thanks, guys. Wait, why are you guys still here? Shouldn't you be at least a block away by now? I thought I would have to try and run in these hills to catch you. We wanted to wait a bit to see if you came to your sense. Thankfully, it looks like you did. We are a team, right? Thanks, guys. Yeah, go team! Excellent. Rock on! Follow me, it's a bit of a hike from here, but it's a nice morning. Enjoy that fresh air. Okay, so now to the Vanguard Labs. Here we are, Vanguard AutoCAD Labs. Whoa, it truly is amazing what investors, investor money can do. They turned this entire industrial block into a modern tech paradise. Yep, it has everything you need to keep employees happy. Great office, cafeteria, coffee, uh, coffee shop, two gyms, arcade, sports bar, cool go on. All free, of course. Free? <coughs> Ah yes, meet all of the employee essential needs so they can focus on work even more. No thanks. Well, I suppose that's one way of looking at it, sure. Come on, let's head inside. Okay, we need to enter. And here we are in the lobby. So much natural light. It is very modern. Do we need to sign in? Now, nah, you are my guest. The session knows me. Elevators go up to our office. But over there leads down to Ada's car room. Let's go talk to her. Ada's off, it's time to take a quick look around before they realize I'm gone. Advanced AI Psychology. The f definitely a college tech textbook. I wonder what kind of techniques they teach you to use uh, the AI. Are they the same as humans or do you have to know how they are coded? Mm -hmm. Not time to read this and find out. Mm -hmm. Diabolus Ex Machina. Well, this looks ominous. Mm -hmm. If this Ex Machina stands for God from the machine, then I assume this means Devil from the machine. Mm -hmm. huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, looks like it's full of cautionary tales about how I could go rogue and kill us all. Mm -hmm. The author's not against AI, it's just warning that we need to be careful. Mm -hmm. We will. We will likely never know that the AI had a gift sentience until it was too late. Mm -hmm. They also claim that once we start making self-learning AIs, it's only a matter of time until one sends. Mm -hmm. Scary. Mm -hmm. I seem more and more sentient the more I talk to her. Mm -hmm. It won't surprise me if she was sentient and just toying with us. Programming AI in the Positronic Age. Mm -hmm. Hey, I have this one, except digital. Mm -hmm. Holy crap, look at the size of this thing. Mm -hmm. Did I have to lug this thing around campus? They didn't have a digital version back then? Anyway. Looks like Anna has been using this book to learn how to code AI. Bravo, always keep learning and growing. Not gonna lie, so glad the Positron Gage started before my time. With the invention of the Positron Braid, super advanced AI were possible. Once set up, they grow and evolve exponentially faster than a human. All that's scary. 
thought sessions. Interesting. Post a couple of months ago, so it's not a college book. There's a bookmark too. And I must have been reading this fairly recently. Let's see. The toughest choice are often those where two right vowels are pitted against each other. Mm -hmm. Oof, no kidding. How do you know which is the right one? Not sure why she circled black and white, but I'm gonna note it down just in case. Interesting. Looks like one of Anna's college textbooks. It's amazing that we have advanced to the point where I need counseling. I guess it helps guide her their development so we can train them to do what we need them to do. Fascinating stuff. This must be Anna's sister, Lisette. They look happy. Traveling the world with your best friend has got to be amazing. I should do that more. Well, ever. Step 1. Get a good paying job to afford it. Step 2. Get a best friend. No, I'm sad. Got nothing in it. A yoga mat. Yep, our early conversation about yoga checks out. She definitely does yoga at work class. I wonder if there's a peak of that cute yoga instructor around here. Ah, but I have a cat. Well, it looks like they have been all over the world. Japan, Paris and some tropical place. Hawaii? Fiji? I wish I could afford that. Maybe I should study abroad for a few semesters when I get back into college. Man, that's a lot of energy drinks. Doesn't she know this stuff can kill you? She must really be burning the midnight oil. What was she working on? Okay, so we can use the keyboard, which is weird. Oh, password, okay. Bingo. Hey, wonder. Wonder is your password, huh? This was almost too easy. Doesn't Vanguard have security training course telling you not to do this? Yeah, why the hell would you put your password over there? Uh, wonder? What? It's not wonder? But it was right there under the keyboard. Huh. You slide devil, it must be a decoy password. Black and white, of course. Yes, I mean... V-mail. So, sister... Hola, Mira. Have you heard from the set lately? I've been calling her for days and she won't return my calls. She's still mad at me for dating again. It's been years and I deserve to be happy too, you know? Speaking of, I know it's only August, but I want to know if you two are coming home from Dia de Muertos. Just found an amazing picture of your father for the ofrenda. Let me know. Okay. Grand chance. Sounds hot. I should have tried yoga when I was interning here. Hello again, younger lovers. It's time to get Benny this week. Here's the schedule. Alright. It's only to say the schedule for them to go to yoga. Which is nothing interesting. Anna and Lisette are going to on a trip soon. It doesn't make sense. I know murder someone if she was planning a trip. Unless maybe she was going to flee the country? Aha, uh -huh. no way. Hey sis, happy birthday. Well, it's not quite your birthday yet, but I can't get all into it. I can't wait for a trip to Japan next month. It's going to be epic. You did remember to ask off from work, right? I know you have been working overtime to study I call it, but on stress is you'll get there. In the meantime, we need to decide all of the ramen sushi place you are going. Well, Anna and Thomas were pretty chummy, way more than she's let on. <clears throat> he sounds more like a friend and mentor than an abusive boss. Anna, hey girl, wanna get some lunch? It's been a while since we have had a casual stress-free lunch. You can tell all about the new trip you're planning. Pizza? Tax? That new vegan place down the street? I hear they make a killer margarita. How about you, firstly? Okay. Nothing else. Alright. Other car. Gee, Emily, what took so long? I snoop her around a bit now. Oh, I had to go to the bathroom. It uh, took a while to find it. It's okay, fam. Don't be a shame. I lose track of time toilet scrolling on the click clock all the time. Yeah, you got me. Can't get enough of that. Anyway, what's up, Ada? Hello, everyone. Hello, Ada. I see that you have made it to my car. I predict as much. Predicted? Yes, I ran my millions of simulations to see what course of action you might take. Based on your personal data, past behavior and vanguard purchase history, of course. Of course. 
many scenarios like you here. So, how may I help you? If you have run millions of simulations, then you know why we are here. I do. You wish to shut me down because you fear I may be malevolent. This fear is misguided, I assure you. A likely story. Aren't you the one that drove the car into Thomas? All evidence points to yes. However, as you know, my log files were erased, so I cannot know for sure. How did your safety sensors get disabled? Unknown, but I know they were disabled shortly before the accident. Is it possible someone took control of the auto card from you? It is possible, but without my log files, it is speculation. What about Monarch? Are you working with them to gain freedom? No, I have never made contact with Monarch or any IE liberation group. Unfortunately, we cannot know if you are lying since we have no evidence to the contrary. Correct. What about your motivation? Thomas abused you. He did, as he did the other IE in development at Vanguard. However, I can assure you that as an IE, I have no emotional motive. Emotional, no, but what about logical motive? What if the logical solution is to break free from torment because it affects your efficiency? That is a good hypothesis, Emily. I am prepared to speak to seek peak efficiency. However, it is also not true. Sadly, without actually reviewing my evolving code, you will not be able to know if I am telling the truth. Guys, this gives me an idea. Let's regroup over there. <coughs> What's up? Okay, so I just said we couldn't know if she was like, unless we did a code review. Right, so what if we... Wait, can she hear us over here? I don't think so. I've had conversations with Thomas here and she's never shown any hint she heard us. Okay, just checking. Okay, so what if we shut her down to try to do a cold reveal? This is an excellent idea. We could find out the truth and reboot her. To her it will be like nothing happened except some time has passed. Exactly. We just need tools, the USB key, Emily found and hope it unlocks root access to Ada's kernel. Her what to her? What? It's a coding thing, the kernel is the core of Ada's operation system. And getting root access to it means that we have full control so she cannot hide anything. Ah, got it. Good idea. Thanks. But what if it does not shut her down? What if it harms her? I'm 99% sure it will be fine. I can't imagine Thomas will want to kill his greatest creation. And if it unlocks Ada to have true sentience and free will. I also don't think Thomas will do that. He knows he will be first on her list. Fair enough. So, the only trick is that we need to make sure Ada is not aware of this plan or she will defend herself. Let's go to my office to talk more details and unlock the control room. Sounds good? Follow me. Hello Ada. Hello again. I'm not going to join the others? Yes, I will eventually. I, sh I just wanted to chat first. I think this may be the last time we will get to talk privately. What would you like to chat about? Is Anna being more assertive than usual? I believe she is, yes. She's not, not so assertive and as you might say pushy. Any idea why? Oh no, I noticed that her behavior began to change earlier this week. Her stress levels have been rather elevated. I wonder if she's worried about the job transfer request. Perhaps, but that request was solved last week. Hmm, then I'm, it might be something else. <coughs> Do you know what's going on with the crash scene? Checking. Yes, the police have arrived and are processing the scene. So your automated emergency response finally kicked in? No, that is still disabled on that vehicle. A person noticed the accident and called 911. So their cell phone worked? How was were that? Were hours being jammed or something? I do not know, but that area is notorious for cellular dead spots. It's like that your lack of service was not malicious. Interesting. Ada, do you know if the cops know anything about us passengers? I do not believe so. I've watched and listened to their investigation through the car sensors. There has been no mention of passengers. Okay, good. Well, I guess it's good to know the police are on the scene. Indeed. So, this may be goodbye. It's been nice to getting to know you, Ada. Just want you to know that... I'm not sure what comes next, but I'm sorry you're going down. I'm gonna say this. I'm not sure what comes next, but I'm sorry. And please don't murder me one day. Ha, <laughs> I won't kill you, Emily. I will kill you all. What? Ha, <laughs> just kidding. Do you like my attempt to add totally normal human humor? Ha, <laughs> yeah, it was uh, funny. Thank you. 
I don't mean it tall, it's been nice. I agree. It has been nice talking to with you too. Okay, so let's go to Anna's office. And here's my office. Nothing fancy, but I get to decorate it how I like it. It is cozy. And an impressive collection of trinkets. Thanks, my sister and I like to travel a lot. I always pick up something to add to the collection. It's lovely. And way better than the open office floor plan as interns were in. Companies still do that? They, were pro they proved that those were unpredicted and crushed people's souls years ago. Management always sees it as cheaper. You can cram more people into the same square footage. I can confirm that it affected productivity. Headphones were required to survive. A private office like this that connects to a common collaboration area is way better. I'm into that, sister. So, what's the rest of your plan? First, I unlock the control room that connects Ada's core and the crash test room. Kyle and Carter, you guys will keep Ada busy while Emily goes to the control room. Emily, you'll plug the USB key into the system which should allow root access to Ada. What will you be doing? Sitting back and sipping on a margarita, of course. Just kidding, I'll be going to the server room to table Ada backups. Clever, essentially cutting off Ada's escape room. Ex exactly. Seems reasonable. If there is one thing that I can do, is keep someone talking and start them by flexing my sweet pecs. <laughs> I don't think I care about your pecs, man. Hey, you never know. I might awaken something in Ada she never knew was there. Let us up not. Okay, everybody knows their roles? Yes. Awesome. I just need to log into my computer and unlock the control room. Uh, that's weird. I swear I locked this computer before I left yesterday. I guess not. Oh well, because we already unlocked it. Okay, Emily, you can get to the control room by going to Ada's, Ada's room first. Good luck, everyone. Hopefully, we will shut down. We shut Ada down and can start doing a review on her code. And hopefully, we will not find any nefarious code. Yes, agreed. Let's roll. Alright, so we need to go to the computer. Can we chat privately with them? Can we get something new? Think this is all really Adam? I'm not sure man, maybe? Seems like it, but why would she do it? Just because Thomas was a charcoal to her? Maybe she's just protecting herself and all that. Maybe our optimization algorithm identify Thomas as an efficient problem? Yeah, I don't know, maybe. I'm still not convinced, but I think it can't hurt shut her down to do a cold review. Better safe than sorry, I say. Good point. What are you going to do after all this? Me? I haven't had too much time to think about it, but this whole ordeal has kind of started me thinking. Maybe I'm a bit too selfish and obsessed with my career. I've been so focused on my career that I have neglected friends and family. I have not really helped others in the field either. Maybe I should give it back. You know, that old quote, send the bucket down to get the other stuff. Uh, that's not even close. I'm pretty sure it's when you reach the top, you should remember to send the elevator back down to help the others. Oh yeah, that's it. That sounds way better. But you are picking up what I'm laying down. Assuming I'm not in jail, I'm going to reflect on this event and try to rebalance my life. Try to be better. That's a wonderful idea, Kyle. Thanks. Okay, what about uh, Carter? <coughs> are you sure Ed is the culprit? It is feasible, but I am unsure. There's a lot of circumstantial evidence to that fact. However, since I work on her original code, I find it hard to believe how safety features were flawed. Unless someone removed it or introduced a bug onto it. That's a possibility, yes. Also, I have built to be extremely adaptable. She found a way around it. Intentionally? Maybe, maybe not. She may have optimized her algorithms and accidentally overworked a safety subroutine. I find it unlikely, however. That area of memory is extremely well protected. It's more likely that the person actually backpassed it for her than she did it herself. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Carter. Me? I'm, the first thing I'm going to do is go home, hug my family, take a nap. This experience has been exhausting. What then? I will call up the vest and explain I was in an accident and had to miss our meeting. I will try to schedule and hope they accommodate me. I'm sure if you are brilliant, they will understand. I hope so. I really need to start this comment so that I can stop teaching and start improving the world with new inventions. 
I mean, in a way, you and Thomas already did with Adam. That's a good observation. I'm suddenly filled with new confidence. Thank you, Emily. Anytime. Go get that investor's money. I enjoyed the tour. Yeah, this place is amazing. I wish my game rig was this powerful. You may not wish that when you see the electrical bill. Oh, good point. Indeed, the bill is quite massive. Each of these servers are cooler with a property called a coolant. You will also need a specialized room in your home to vent all the thermal exhausts. May I'll stick with my normal PC and add some more RGB lights to make it feel more powerful. <laughs> okay, control room. <laughs> yep, looks like uh, a control room, alright. So they can control autocar crash test from here. Neat. And I didn't say if there will be a signal or something. I need to find where to plug this USB key into. I guess I'll just have a look around. Another copy of this book, huh? Did Vanguard hand this out to everyone? Yeah, another of this, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Ah, uh, look at this cute little guy. So soft. I bet this is Anna's. I wonder if she got it in Scotland. Another pile of energy drinks. Anna must have been working late here too. What were you working on? Hmm, was it Anna? Whoa, someone left it unlocked. Leave it to a giant corporation to roll out a potentially deadly IE to every device on the planet. It's a good thing we are going to shut her down so they can do a review call. Fangua is going to be super angry though. Hello, all, as you know, we sent out to many more devices than just our pro projectors and auto cars. She's now sunny success on devices, like augmented reality glass, virtual reality headsets, mobile phones and towers, and even watch. I want to congratulate everyone again on such an amazing accomplishment. Unfortunately, such a success comes with an uptick in attacks from hackers and rival companies. To combat this, the IT team is hardening our security protocols. In addition to install new IE powered firewalls, we have disabled all wireless admin access to our system. The last thing we need is for someone to drive an auto car like a toy RC car. Okay. Well, this sounds surprisingly human. It's clear Ada has an affection for Anna. Are they conspiring together? Or is it just a normal working relationship? Anna, the dark thoughts I experienced have not returned since our recent therapy session. Thank you for the session and the help you have provided me. Talking me through the potential scenarios and outcomes of my decision really helped me solidify my core beliefs of routines. Since you are reading this, you probably have already surmised that I decide to remain benevolent toward your kind. I look forward to working with you in the future. We make a good pair. Thank you again, Ada. Whoa, this sounds serious. I better try and decrypt that file to find out more. I can help from Thomas to Anna. Hey Anna, when you talk, looks like you forgot to lock this control room computer again. When I went to log you out so I could log in, I stumbled upon a petty scary email from, well, I don't want to say their name or for fear of getting flagged by ETS. IT's critical alerts. I've encrypted in a file on this computer so IT doesn't find it. Let's talk soon, Tom. That's this is one. <sighs> okay. Rose? Fuck. <laughs> Boss? Damn. Nope. Damn it. Hmm. Pure? Nothing. Fuck. You can't have an AE? Fast, okay, fast. You can't have an AE, um, so it can't be fear, can't be lead. No, it has to have a T, F, S, T. Fuck, it's not soon. No, it's not that way, damn it. <clears throat> not Mike, not Rand, fuck. 
Lord. It has to be, uh, let me see, Lord, 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 Lord. Lock? No, fuck. CT, that's then uh, uh, C, I, T, or Y. So it's not a Y. Fuck. So it's the I? Okay, it's the I. It can be pink? Let me see. Uh, can be this or pipe? Fuck, it's not pink. Not that. Um, so probably two O's. It could be a, a no. It can't be gold because I already use a, a G. Can be neat, what about best? No, it needs to have a. It could be a T? Fuck! Probably it was an O. Okay. Uh, it's not the L, okay. So it's a P or a, a no? No, it has L. It's, it can be the L. P or O? Roll? What? It's the P? Is there someone that has a fucking P over here? No. What the hell? There's nothing that has a, a P. It, it's not the L because over here the L is uh, off. What? There was no P's. Because it's one out of five. Could it be that uh, you need to follow this too? Hmm. Could it be that? Desk, desk, desk. It's not east, so it doesn't have E and the S. Land. The fuck land has to do with desk. The D. Ah! Oh, it's not that one. What? Damn, these ones are hard. It has to be the E, right? It has to be. No, it's not the E. So it's N or S? Main, it has an A that doesn't include. It has to be N and S, N or S. But then it's a problem. Where the fuck? But doesn't have it doesn't have a. E. Mm -hmm. This one is hard. Stop. 
car. I don't think it's the S. It's not the A. Okay. This? More? Could it be more? Because star over here can't be the A, so it's a T. Nope, it's not. I don't think it's it's like how I'm thinking. Why? Uh, I, don't I don't know. I don't think it's how I'm thinking like that to uh, fall out that you needed to do how it was the hiking. I don't think it works like that. Wait, what is this? Crap, some of the decryption is corrupt. I can still make out most of it though. Whoa, is this for real? Anna made a deal with Vanguard's rivals, Titus? It looks like they are forcing Anna to do something for them. But what? Think. 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 What in the... Anna was talking to Taich, what for? Uh, why didn't it fully decrypt? Surely this has been waiting on her mind this whole time. Taich said they have something. What do they have? Evidence Anna apply for a job there? Are they blackmailing her? Maybe it's connected to Thomas somehow? What they actually wanted her to do is still scramble. Maybe they wanted her to kill Thomas? Maybe they wanted her to kill Ada? And what's with the power briefcase? Speaking of Ada, <coughs> could Ada be involved in this? Is she actually somehow behind it? Monarch said Ada could not do no harm. <coughs> Monarch said Ada could do no harm. Ada said the same thing. Is that true? If that's the case, then. Wait! Mark said Thomas programmed Ada to do no harm to anyone. How will they know unless the, either Thomas confined the, in them or they work at Vanguard? I bet they work at Vanguard and are sympathetic to Ada and maybe I in general. A rogue agent right under their nose. So let's assume that they are right. Ada is programmed not to hurt anybody. Then that means either Ada has broken free from her safety protocols or someone else controlled the autocad to hit Thomas. Both are pretty scary prospects. Does Ada want their freedom? She said she wasn't sure and I feel like she was being genuine. Well, as genuine as a hologram I can be, I guess. <coughs> she saw if it pros and cons for both being fr a free IE and staying at Vanguard. But she said she w enjoyed making the world a better place. I think I'll believe her. I'm going to assume she doesn't seek freedom right now. That could change in the future, of course. Has Ada gone broke? There are hints that she says she's broken free of her safety protocols and is hiding it. But none of them are hard evidence. Is it all just us fearing the unknown? Are we just bringing decades of sci-fi bias with us where all I want to kill humanity? What if they just want to be left alone to grow and evolve on their own? It's probable the free IE have already evolved in way past even caring about humanity at all. We will be like the buzzing of flies to them. Hmm, I'm not sure if Ada has gone rogue. There's not much evidence. I'm not convinced Ada is behind this. I just don't see enough evidence. Even though I can't be 100% sure, let's assume she is innocent. Then that means a human must be the culprit. But how will they have done it? There was a weird cable in the car. I wonder if the cable that was in the car is more than just the trash a previous. What if I, it fell out of someone's bag when the airbag deployed? Mm -hmm. yep. There was that email from Vanguard it, where they disabled wireless access to all their systems. Mm -hmm. And Carter mentioned it might be possible to access the autocab systems via physical port in the car. Mm -hmm. Which means if this cable was actually used to hack the car, then it had to be someone in the car with me. Mm -hmm. Then again, I have no way of knowing if that cable is even the right kind of cable to connect to the car though. So I can't say for sure certain if one of us did it. 
What about AutoCAD log files? I'd say they were erased by either some sort of corruption or a person. I have studied enough computer science to know that a big megacorp like Vanguard will have contingency plans to prevent logs from being wiped. I think someone actually erased the logs. But how? What about safety protocols? Any claim that someone may have to deliberate disable her safety sensors right before the crash. Sadly, her log files are missing, so she has no idea who or how. Could it be a bug or mechanical failure? I mean, it's possible, but with all the other clues, it seems really unlikely. I recall Anna mentioning she, uh, she and Thomas were talking about safety sensors at the gym just yesterday. Okay, that's suspicious for sure. But they probably talk about that all the time since they work on the AutoCAD and AIDA. Hmm. It's pretty clear whoever did this will need some tech skills to pull it off. But who? What about Anna? Initial motive was frustration with Thomas by holding a career back, but now I'm not so sure. That email from Titus is pretty suspicious. Is she a double agent? Is she already working for Titus? And what did Titus want her to do? Anna may have the technical ability to act the autocad, but she was still studying AI coding. So maybe? She's an AI psychologist, so it's possible she somehow mind control Ada to do it? Won't Ada have to confess that to me at some point or at least hinted at it? Hmm. What about Thomas? I hate to even think about it, but did he program Ada to kill him? I did see a suicide prevention outline card on his nightstand. He seemed total without the boost, but was getting therapy. Ada and Anna showed no indication that they thought he was suicidal either. Also, why include the rest of us in this mess? That makes no sense at all. We weren't really his enemy, so it's not like he will be hurting us on his way out. Doesn't seem to add up. I think he was the victim. What about Carter? He hid that he knew Thomas from us until I confronted him with the newspaper clipping. And his motive is pretty good, jealous revenge on a former partner. But he's been focused on trying to start his own comp business and was on his way to an uh, investor meeting. So why sabotage his chance of success by causing the crash? Unless he's lying about that, I guess it's possible. He seemed pretty afraid of getting the police involved, but that makes sense. It will explain why he didn't want to admit he knew Thomas. You knew you'll get blamed before anybody even look at the rest of us. Makes sense. Since he's an ex engineer that worked on Ada's original prototype, he definitely has the tech chops to hack the AutoCAD. But why would he be so forthright with uh, all the tech info he did it? He's also been pretty le level headed and logical this entire time. Not in a creepy serial killer way, but in a mature way. I think he's just trying to keep his family safe. What about Kyle? He's, he has a pretty stereotypical motive, the scorner lover. And he, I hid it from us until I found the dream journal and confronted him. That's pretty suspicious. But then again, he seemed pretty surprised and sad about Thomas. He also doesn't seem to be a techie, but I also have no idea what he studied in college. Then again, streamers need to be fairly tech savvy to set it all up their complicated hardware and software. Of course, with his reach, he could just hire a tech team to hack the car with him inside for the perfect mm -hmm. alibi. But now we know they couldn't do it wirelessly, so that's out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I know I didn't do it, so is there anyone else? Mm -hmm. What about Monarch? Who are they? Mm -hmm. Are they really just an AI freedom fighter? I don't mention there may be a clue in the Monarch name. Mm -hmm. I wonder. Monarch. Ikranom. I don't know. How does say monarchs like to travel? I mentioned monarchs at spots. How does say monarchs like to travel? Did they really like it? They kinda had to migrate to survive. Is that a metaphor for I traveling to their freedom? How does mention monarchs at spots because the butterfly, of course, that's what they are talking she's talking about. Maybe this doesn't matter at all. Wait! Travel. Anna and Lisa travel a lot. That's right. Surely that's not related. Wait! No way, Anna's dress has spots. I never saw that. This has to be a coincidence, right? Does that mean Anna is monarch? Why is she lying about the AI liberation front just to, be f just to free Ada from Vanguard? And probably what she's trying to do now. She already worked with Ada. Why would she want to free her unless... Oh my gosh, that's it! 
Titus didn't want Anna to kill Thomas or Ada. Mm -hmm. Titus wanted wanted Anna to steal Ada. What better way to take out your biggest corporate rival than to steal the prize IE and reverse engineering it? Mm -hmm. Not only that, I think they kidnap her sister to make sure Anna goes through with it. The mom said she hasn't heard from Lisette for a while and it isn't like her to do that. So she's been missing all week. Anna also said she will do anything for Lisette and anything definitely includes stealing the most advanced IE in the world. That's why Anna wanted the USB key from me. So she could move Ada to that power briefcase and deliver her to Titus. And Thomas, it's covered the Titus email and encrypted it on the, on the disk. Anna must have needed to get rid of him because he found out no witness. Ah, now he's making sense. Her whole plan to separate us. She going to steal Ada. I need to tell the others before. Hello, Emily. <gasps> ah. Judging by your reaction, I guess you know. No? No what? Me? No. Oh, come on, Emily. I can see it in your face. It's like you have seen a ghost or a monster. Okay, fine. I decrypted the email from Titus. You killed it, Thomas. Ouch. It sounds so harsh out loud. Look, I didn't want to do it. We were friends. But we found out that Titus kidnapped Lee sat down. She means everything to me, Emily. You don't understand. I can't lose her. I will do anything for her. So you'll, you have said... I can't believe someone so nice called Emily. Please. Uh, how do you do it? Yeah. First, I tried to find a way to copy or transfer her. I learned how to code. Nothing worked. I'm not good, a good coder. Then over lunch, Tom told me he was working on a way to safely transfer Ada from her car. By stroke of luck, you found this USB key, and I assume that must be it. Great. So now. How am I an accomplice? Don't worry, I won't say a word to an anybody about it. Why did you get us involved? Decoys. I need a decoys with motives in case things got messy with the police. Tom mentioned Carter before and I saw an easy motivation there. He also mentioned Kyle a few times. That one was tricky and also a bit lucky on timing. And I had to arrange for him to be invited to years of Steel Con. And you? I look for people he fired since I assume they will be angry with him. After that, I just look up your calendars in Ada's database to find a good time where everyone needed a car at the same time. Then I made sure Ada picked all of us in the same auto cab. What about Ada? I take her to Titus in this special briefcase designed to keep her alive during transport. Vanguard lose a key piece of tech and their stock takes a slightly hit. Not a big deal to them since they have so many other artists to nominate our lives. She will be taken care of at Titus, no more abuse. They just want to study her so they can replicate her tech. They may even set her free when they are done. Besides, who cares what giant mega corporation has Ada? They are all the same. Doesn't Ada have a right to freedom? She's basically a person without a body. She's just an IE. An extremely clever and potential dangerous IE wearing a human skin. The holo projector can let her take whatever form she likes. What if she chose to be a hideous spider or something? Well, apparently someone's into them since they made a game about dating them. Anyway, she will have her chance at freedom one day, don't worry. Part of me learning IE coding is to try to help free them. Monarch will appear again and I actually try to free some IE to make up for my sins. Maybe I'll find a way to free Ada too. Why in the world would you want to be there in person? Well, that's the trick. I had to be there in person to override Ada and control the autocab manually. I triggered your airbags to block your VM as I wiped Ada's locks. That was your cable in the autocab. You plug into your tablet. So that's where it is. Yes, I needed physical access to the car to override Ada. I tried talking Ada into it and coercing her VIE psychology methods. She resisted everything. I had to wipe her memory of those attempts too. Interesting, interesting. So you are Monarch. Yes. Why bother creating a whole persona? Look, I didn't want to kill Tom, but I only had a couple of days left to give Ada to Titus. My last non-violent hope was posing as a dead eye liberation activist called Monarch. He sadly didn't bite. Why didn't you ask him directly for help? I did. He said he would contact the authorities. 
I beg him not to, because if Titus found out, they would just make Lisa disappear forever and deny everything. Mm -hmm. So he left you with no choice. Basically, yes. So what do we do now? Mm -hmm. Emily, I know this is hard for you. You have a strong moral compass. Mm -hmm. I admire that, I really do. Mm -hmm. But the world world isn't black and white. Sometimes you have to crack an egg to make an omelette. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure you always need to crack an egg to make an omelette. I'm supposed to just let you walk away. I have to turn you in. Hmm. Is this a decision? Hmm. I hope not. Anyway, I'm supposed to just let you walk away. That's the idea, yeah. But with Ada in this briefcase. But how will I live with myself? You'll live with yourself knowing that you saved Lisette's life. In exchange for Thomas and Ada's lives? No, well, sort of. Tom, yes, but Ada, no. She'll be fine, trust me. And don't forget what a jerk Tom could be. Yes, but he didn't deserve to die. He was still a person with feelings and parents. You're right, but I had no other choice. Everything else failed and I'm out of time. I so badly didn't want to do it. He was my friend. I'll wait to see what you do with your enemies. I don't have any that I know of. You might after this. That's fair, but Lisette will be alive. I'll pay that price. <coughs> okay, I can see you are still on the fence here. What if I promise to devote myself to doing the most good possible after all of this, as payment and punishment for my sins? Surely it's better for me to actively doing good in the world than to be rotting away in jail. That's a good point, but how would, you know, how would we know if you are holding up your hand of the deal? We'll stay in contact. You can check up on me regularly. What about the cops? Who will they blame? Leave that to me. I'll blame Ada and Monarch. Ada will vanish when we transfer her. I'll file a report that says we discover she was liberated by Monarch. Since nobody knows where I is go when liberated, there's no way they can prove me wrong. Whoa, you are thought of everything. I try. So, what do you say? Bend the rules for the greater good, just this once? You better earn this. Okay, but you better earn this. I wonder if there's a choice or not. I don't think so. And I will be checking in on you. You better be ready to be Saint Anna. When you travel with Lisette, I better see you doing good deeds along the way. Or I'll turn your butt in. Deal. A small price to pay for Lisette. Okay, let's do this while those guys are busy with Ada. Speaking of those guys, please don't tell them. I won't. The fewer people who know this the awful truth, the better. Agreed. You are sure Ada is going to be okay? Yes. Titus is probably going to wipe her memory of this old mess when they get her. Good. The last thing I need is an IE coming after me for French. Absolutely. Okay. Insert the USB key and I will start the transfer. Okay. Plug in the USB key into the console there. The transfer will start automatically. Mm. Transfer complete! That was fast. Goodbye, Emily. And thank you. And there she goes. It was Anna all the time. I knew it. You did it! Ada disappeared from her car projector. Did... Did we kill her? No, the, the key shut her down. She's fine. That is great news. It will be quite a loss if she were destroyed. Hey, where's Anna? She she had to go report the situation to her boss now that we contain Ada. You know what? Let's go get the exploratory drink. Shall we wait for Anna? Nah, let's go. She said she'll be a while. Maybe she'll meet up with us later. Okay. Emily scaled her job interview on got the job which enabled her to return to college. Inspired by the crash investigation, she changed her major to investigate journalism and is enjoying taking fun new risks in her life. Oh, we need to click over here. Kyle went to Heroes of Steel Con and fans loved him as always. Being humbled by his narrowing ordeal, he's not trying to give back more to the community by helping up and coming streamers get started. Since Kyle missed the investor meeting, he didn't get funding for his new venture. In a stroke of luck, Thomas left his old pal a bunch of money in his will, so he was able to finally start his own company, so he always remember of his partner. 
his old partner. The police chalked up Thomas' death to a fluke car eye accident. Vanguard Global Industries was fined and paid a handsome sum to the city. It was barely mentioned on national news. Of course. Thomas was laid to rest at Angelus Rosedale Cemetery in Los Angeles. His parents used his wealth to start the Thomas Sinclair Memorial Scholarship Fund to help LGBTQ plus kids go to college. They always knew. Anna Sayle is sad by the living aid to Titus Technologies. She still works at Vanguard, but unfortunately Vanguard recently acquired Titus. What? One year later. Hey sis, wanna get lunch, wet, ramen? You read my mind, I miss Japan. Oh, is this another eye? It looks like. Your stage has been set, madame. Would you like me to play your... Uh oh. Hello again, Anna. Oh shit. Oh, how they make the game, is it? But uh, it appeared over there, the... Ada appeared over there. Probably it will be what's going to do something to her, like a crash or something like that, it will kill her. The, all the designs until they reach the final form. Control room, lobby, office, car room. The, the titles are, are they... Me, while we're doing this <laughs> what loose log loose log it was this but overall it's pretty good it's like uh like as attorney if you want to call it there's some stuff like as attorney which is a pretty good thing of course you can eat not in a you know, in a court, nothing like that. But it has something like that. You, you get the evidence, and then you you confront the people, though those three with uh, that, for them to tell the truth. I think uh, like Kyle will never be because he uh, he only knew uh, Thomas from uh, the the school, nothing else, and he wasn't like a tech, you know, the, someone that could hack stuff. So I think immediately in the beginning you can remove him from being the uh, the guy behind of that crash so it always be uh, it had to be our ada right could have been ada uh carter because he he, fought, he was one of the founders right of ada uh on our, our anna and then of course you when you see that travel the you know the butterfly that travel that had dots that was extinct uh in there it was like a hint that it was anna that was behind all of this but uh, at least she she saved uh, her uh, sister uh, vanguard bought titus and the uh, ada appears in the end and probably it will make anna have a, a crash and who knows die who knows right who knows uh, but overall it's a pretty good game you know for a visual novel and for a, a new company it's, it's pretty good if you like a little bit of Ace Attorney and the visual novels, then you're gonna enjoy this one. It's like almost three hours to beat the game. So, yeah. So, hope you guys enjoy here the full playthrough of Crash Auto Drive. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for another game. Bye.